recording. Start streaming. Great. Okay, welcome everybody to another episode of the Dungeons and the Dragons. I'm Roxville, everyone dies. Uh, I am here with the crew of the A-Team. Uh, no, Enterprise. Oh, sorry, the, the Enterprise. My correction, I've been drinking. Who wants to tell me what happened in the hell last game? Previously, on the ship of fools, we set sail up the coast of the Isle of Red to scope out more of the terrain. Sail past the big old gates in a sharp infested cove. And then uh, Edwin spotted a squirrel monkey person on the shore getting chased by a big old ugly spider. Mm -hmm. We decided to go try to help them out. Mm -hmm. Us with a couple of our crew members tracked them to the island and found no spiders, but a couple of griffins trying to eat the furry little fellow. Mm -hmm. We managed to save and started uh, learning his language to communicate with him back and forth. Uh, and he asked us for help dealing with spiders attacking his home village, and we agreed to go with him, which we're in transit to now. After resting up for the night, and uh, Trey's character almost getting carried off by a rock, and our captain deciding to try to rob a religious altar. I was the plunder, and I did so successfully. The correct term is desecrate a temple. Yes. <laughs> I, I plundered it, I didn't desecrate it. It belongs to I mean, you returned the spear, so you didn't to even it. plunder it. I didn't return it, we're still taking it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a bit of treasure there. We'll get to that point to see if you guys remember what was the treasure. Friendship. Uh, yeah. Spear and a couple potions. Yeah, like three potions. Yeah. I don't know what the potions are. Like healing potions. Potion. Swimming and climbing. Climbing, that's right. Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, I nearly got squashed by a bastodon spirit, but I managed to survive, and now we're... And you're stronger for it. Licking our wounds. So that, uh, speak for yourself. And now we're... Deciding whether to rest more or continue onwards. If, out of character, if you guys are looking to just get hit back, back hit points, you can just short rest. I've already hit the long rest button. Yeah, but that doesn't really do much. Did you blow any spells? You just click them. If you have a few. Well, you just blow them if you want. You just, just, uh, just go ahead and just click off a couple spells that you think you would have done. You did two weeks ago. I don't know how I hit it. You did Smite, and you did uh, Compelling Duel or whatever twice, and then you did something So, else. two first levels and a second level spell. Remember you did 72 damage and blew a second level Smite. That was on a Griffin. Yeah, oh, we right. rested, and then in the morning went to the temple. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, blow two first levels and a second. If you guys want a short rest, if not, go ahead and long rest. I got dice for that, too. Yeah, we can camp out here then, be safer. Right outside the temple, you all love. So, in my, what am I? What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Blow the spells, or are we resting? Resting. You're doing long rest. Long rest. Okay. Okay. You guys are attempting. This is why Scarlet caught up with us. You guys are attempting a there long you go. rest. Yes. Only but you guys are technically on the edge, of the edge of the hilllands. <gasps> the hilllands. Uh, it's so mountainous over here. Uh, there is forest near you and around you, but you are in the middle of the hilllands. One of the Mystic Knights. Uh, on the southern area yeah, of our map. Knight. That's right. So you guys are going to rest. Fifth Ranger. So you guys are in place and resting. Yeah, that's I missed that show. Well, that's going to be another season. I mean, the bunch of twerks. Roll me, uh, uh, roll me an intelligence check. <sighs> You get to add a uh, plus four to this. On top of if you have any other bonuses to your intelligence. 22. 22, okay. At this point you have learned, because you have the linguist merit, you have learned the Phantom language. Woo! You can speak with your retainer, which I believe you have the card for now. Yep. Yes. He uh, is willing to follow you for a while. That's so the squirrel dude? Car. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what was his name again? Mikab. Mikab the Phantom. Mikab the Phantom. Since so you guys are going to attempt a long rest, I need everyone to roll. Dun, 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 dun. D6. Not me. 
as well as you. Oh! Two threes, oh god. A four and a one. Okay. One more time. Can we roll all of us do again? Uh, all of you do again. Guess six. Four. Four. Oh my god! <laughs> four, four, four. Oh god. Uh, can you roll again, sir? Just him? Just him. I'm trying to not roll what you roll. You roll what you're trying to not roll what I roll. Or maybe you are. It could be yeah. something good. Oh, so if you get our number. Okay, something happens. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Six. Oh god. Oh god, someone's getting killed. <laughs> well, hey everybody! Ah! <laughs> so your character, after a long trek, finally makes it back to the group. <laughs> you had to do some important doctor work and eventually... Uh-huh. Uh, she had to do important doctor work. Yes. Yeah, doctor work. A lot of gynecology work. <laughs> Hands-on stuff. Urology. Lots of that. Hey, I'll do what I must. Never too early for a prostate exam. <laughs> okay, can somebody roll me a... Except for the second. captain. I don't know where to look. I wouldn't expect that to stop you. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to... I'm going to still try. It'll just be more interesting. Start from one end. <laughs> look until you find it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Is this important? Yeah, that's my day. Uh, so be rolling percentiles real quick if I can. Uh, I think Tom can because he's reaching for. Oh wait, Neil's got it. Neil's got it. Fifty-seven. Ugh. Fifty-seven. Okay, in the area. Okay, give me a second. Go to the map. Um, meh, 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 while you're doing meh, that, meh, meh. you brought him straight to us. This week's sponsor is Steel for when you need to make things. Steel. Or right, how much Steel O'Neill needs to star in a movie? Steel, real Steel. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's our sponsor for the week. Mm-hmm. Nothing just for like a little bit. Shh. We're not in this house. Not right after this punch, you should be getting all the camera. That's in the fridge. Uh, we have <coughs> a plethora of choices, which could include Diet Coke, Sun Kissed. I think that's an A and W car Ooh, music. Real kiss. Dr. Pepper. Uh, I don't think is there a real bottom drawer. Oh. 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 oh there, yeah, sugar. And then we also have a cream soda, I think. And a root beer. And hard cider. You want anything? Okay. We should put some of the Mountain Dew. That's what I was thinking. Okay. But we have you. I know, I know. I just accept it. God, how much I had a fridge like this in college? Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll a d4. Who would be... Who is taking a watch? I am. You are? Yeah. Anybody else taking a watch throughout the night and the day? I'm traveling. If I only needed a short rest at most, I can rest the I don't really need to stay I'll up take otherwise. Last watch? Well, you, you have to avoid exhaustion. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. sure. Okay. I'll take the middle watch between the two of them. Okay. And I'll take that first one. I'll take the middle of both of you! Who said that? Okay. Damn it, Scarlet. I'm trying to Wizard. keep trying to stop doing this Mr. during watch. Uh, <laughs> Decadent, decadent. How dare you? Can you roll me a? Uh, actually, what is your perception? Yeah. My perception, not much. Much. In which I have proficient, is plus <laughs> six. Actually, <laughs> time, go nuts. Yeah, everything's fine in the world. Okay. Good to know. All right, everything's uh, fine, guys. So your character arrives. Uh, uh, in probably I would say just before they're they're setting up camp. In uh, they they've actually probably already established camp at this point. They're just keeping camp, I, I assume. And uh, your characters are kind of just Even setting up everything just sort of rest. Maybe get like a little bit more lay of the land, just eat some rations, take a day break. Um, and uh, Scarlet shows up uh, all by her. I'll say somebody came with her, dropped her off, and left. I'm just going to say miscellaneous. Is and that Norgen. poor guy, go back alone. <laughs> Norgen, Norgen went and came back alone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! 
this, the vapors have taken me. I finally have caught up with you, my fellow crewmates. I'm sorry I was detained at the ship for medical interests, if you pardon me. So who did you leave in charge of the ship in your absence? Oh, it's you, the, the, who did I leave in charge? I don't know, who'd you leave in charge? Uh, the, the bird, you know, you know him. He's the one, if I recall, he is such a one that we did put him in such a place that was of elevation. The bird that, that I one can talk to, except our totally first mate. Totally and sort of, I can't We're say. sure to listen to his orders. Yeah, wait. I mean, it certainly definitely was a member of our crew who happened to, oh, you know, it was Acolyte of the Way, uh, Valentin, uh, Valentin, uh, I know. Ah, uh, yes, that one. Yeah, that. Valentino. <laughs> yeah, the Kenku. Yeah. Yeah, I left him in charge of the ship. The one that no one can talk to. Yes. Next time, choose someone with a speaking voice. I pointed at him. He said everything back to me that I had said. I saw no problem. Do that, you know. <laughs> you can make perfect. <laughs> I saw no problem. Well, no one else. <sighs> he is disconcerting enough to be around. I doubt the crew will try to do anything until while he's looking at Someone him. should have left instruction. Probably, right? Yes. You. Yes. <laughs> Push up and I You were just... the instructions. That's why we left you behind. Push up and I were just getting a quill. That was it. Shop him and use quill. Oh, it was already sharp. It's a very nice quill. I mean... We'll leave your hijinks back on the boat. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> oh, so many. <laughs> well, well, but now that I'm here, please abreast me of the situation. And, uh, oh, yeah. Tell her if you want to speak. <laughs> What's happening in my skin? Yeah, that was kind of down for you. <laughs> Did I miss another Piggy and Squidge story? <laughs> I'm kicking myself. Actually, no, it was a why you should just shoot the sniper. <laughs> As you can tell, we found the squirrel man. Apparently it was a thing. That is a, oh, it's a man. Oh, maybe. My. I don't think we've really discussed it that far. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely curious about it now. Is the squirrel man shorter or taller than Scarlet? Oh, shorter. Okay. Wow. He's about two feet tall. Damn. Your character is what? About solid three? Just over. He usually rides in my backpack. Like boots. So I believe we're going to his temple, or to his village now, and aren't we helping them with the spiders? Yes. And then in a turn, they'll lead us to temple, no pillaging. wherever that crashed ship is for riches. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> if there's some nobody natives, we can pillage them too. <laughs> well, well, I'm sure there'll be somebody we can come across. When you can... So since you guys are taking a full day of rest, Why else would we, have we are going to do kids? some campfire stories. Woohoo! Campfire stories! <laughs> Present before the Midnight Society the tale of the irascible horny doctor. Ah! Have you guys seen that trailer for um, Think is that Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark? Oh, yeah. Wow, I haven't. Is it good? They, they oh. made it look pretty fucking yeah. creepy. On the other Remember hand, the illustrations from the books? Oh, God, yeah, they nailed it. Oh. You, know, you don't? No. The, no. The cre- oh. On the opposite side, however, there's the movie called Run and Hide. Where they play a game of hide and seek. That looks fucking fun. It I looks, have seen that one. It looks fun, but it looks dumb. <laughs> hey, just because it's dumb. No, it, it looks like fun. fun. I just don't. Just ask like. every ex girlfriend I've had. <laughs> All right, now. Uh, just ask go ahead and pick a pick a card, any card, Ooh, and yeah. pass it along. I like that movie. I'm here to get gas <laughs> and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of bubble gum. Yeah, and that that movie was Oscar caliber. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. I shall take one of these cards from this deck. Preferably this one right here in the middle. If I am so impressed. Well, there you go, sugar. Ooh! Yeah. That's a sample of the illustrations. 
Like that's what they're going for in the movie. Oh, nice. Is it a movie or a show? Movie. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a show. I thought it was like a Netflix show. Yeah. I think it's pretty sure. I think it's gonna be an anthology movie. Right, I'm gonna roll a D4, and that's gonna be the person. I heard that Wheel of Time is gonna be a time show. Yeah, but that was like a year ago. Well, no, they're, they're they're working on it. Oh, good. Actors are getting used to the roles. They're getting set to it. Uh, I'm gonna pull up that dice rolling app, Quick Dice, so you know it's gonna be Neil. Hey, anyway, one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> so Neil, <laughs> when you're ready, the examples are above your head. Mm -hmm. I have to ask another. Okay. Scarlet, why can't you keep it in your <laughs> pants? <laughs> oh, well, um, truth be told, no one's ever asked me that. I like to think it comes from just being an adventurous spirit who's always met and liked meeting people. And naturally, when one is gifted in conversation as I am, one thing usually leads to another. And I've always thought, if it feels good, keep doing it. Your idea of meeting people in mind are completely different. Oh, I know. And I'm okay with it. <laughs> or as my mother would say, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> About other things. Let me get fish in the sea, and if you keep that long enough, the sea will run out. <laughs> Over the fish I hope not. Farm <laughs> Oh, God. Overfishing is a problem. <laughs> Pray tell, where would this be? Particular shores of a particular place? Pray like a river. Shores of the Scarlet Sea. <laughs> not, not the shores of anywhere else, like near your home? The no. shores. There's only one dead hooker there. <laughs> One. <laughs> Where is this on the shores of the of the mighty and free river that you happen to mention all the time? What is that place called? I don't mention it at all. You're the one that mentions it. I know. I love it. I love. That's <laughs> why I love it. Um, anyway, yeah. I just I like people. I like meeting people, and it just happens that conversation leads to. A certain meeting of the kind. I assume you kicked her awake to ask her this too. <laughs> Middle of the night. That's <laughs> 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 what Edwin do. This is just what you do when you're on watch. It's just oh, yeah. surly Edwin. <laughs> God damn it. I want to talk to someone. <laughs> yeah. Why are you such a shitty sniper? Why can't you keep it in your pants? Anything to keep the voices at bay. <laughs> Aww. That hooker talks to me nightly. Me too. <laughs> All of them. Yeah. Your turn. <clears throat> well, now that I've mentioned my mother and my... I would have to say that my childhood, growing up on the river in Beridia, rivers of Beridia, was pretty uneventful. My father, as I may have mentioned, was a smuggler, and my mother didn't participate, so to speak, but she didn't disapprove. She was more of a kind of, how do you say, the power behind the throne. My father ran the ship, but she made sure the ship was running. And as my parents were just normal folk, smuggling away and making their way through the world and making profit where they can, I had an uncle who fell on hard times and became a constable of the law. And his son, my cousin, became a soldier in the army. And it was my other cousin, Henrietta Maladendo, who became a doctor. And so I decided while I was also engaged in gaining profit through the family business, injuries do come up. So it naturally seemed like a good choice that I continue 
to follow my medical interests. So, here I go. Smuggler turned doctor. All because of my parents' willingness not to push me in one way or the other. So you would say you were always fond of anatomy? Oh, yes. On the inside and the out. The difference between a doctor and a harlot is which part of your anatomy is in who. <laughs> you can't afford it, sweetie, but we can definitely talk. So that's my goal, just to do that once. <laughs> <laughs> Your goal is to have this goal. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Have a nice walk home. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that's that's kind of the basics of my family life. Nothing exciting, but nothing too dull. That's the way it was on the river. You're given the freedom to just choose your own pursuits. And I was, yes, and because of that, I now can pursue both with equal pleasure and un, with equal pleasure and no inhibitions. Sounds very nice. It has its moments. Misgivings uh, aside, I may have had about you. You clearly are dedicated to widening your knowledge. In a vari variety of ways. Thank you. <laughs> cool sharpener who? Hello, decaying. <laughs> Start just meditating. <laughs> My watch is over, I'm meditating now. <laughs> Caterpillar style, I squirm over closer to <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't get loose in your bonds. <laughs> I don't know levitate yet. Yeah, God damn it. <laughs> Tighter daddy. What? What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Did you say it? No, I didn't say anything. Seriously, though, tighter. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's your turn, Kim. All right. That's good. <laughs> 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 Brilliant! Honestly, the way he swims so far, I was surprised the captain's just snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Face down in a pile of himself. Yeah. Caterpillar squeal exactly. over there. Exactly how we do it. Just curl up <laughs> down the middle. <laughs> the safest thing. <laughs> Warm and cozy. can't see them. They can't see me. Maybe enough, that's how I wrap up discarded PGA cables. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Smoot. I know you don't agree with plundering the temple. But, <laughs> you don't serve every god out there, and if you aren't willing to take the treasure right in front of you, it's going to be a problem going on. Especially since, isn't this heart of the Hydra we're going after supposed to be in a temple? So another, another, yet another god to uh, insult. Yes, but we were hired to get that. We weren't hired for the spear. You should hire yourself once in a while. <laughs> I can't afford get to yourself, <laughs> Get yourself a good speedboat. Have some fun. <laughs> You've got to relax. Columbia's nice this time of year. I'm oh hiring God. myself right now and loving it. <laughs> I'm sure it's the highest prices for myself and there's no regrets. Thank you so much. I can't afford myself. <laughs> okay, lower your prices a little bit just for you. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> Home discount. Rise to your goals. <laughs> Something will rise. Take all before you. I'm not squeamish about pillaging temples. Just pillaging temples unnecessarily. Seems to be poking a finger in the, in the eye of fate. Fate's already written. It doesn't care what you do. Damn it. <laughs> nice. Well played. Later on, you see me carving it inside of a tree. <laughs> no fate! <laughs> Smooth to serve. No fate, but we make for ourselves! Don't you know, you're not responsible for anything you do. It's all because of some alignments in the stars. Oh, right. What you do? <laughs> no, that's a whole nother thing. 
Wrong, wrong cleric, wrong religion. Okay. There's some cult in the Roku God Empire. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yeah. God. Yeah, Mr. Decadic. Yes. Um, what fleshed out do you have your alt character? Not very well, but, but give me what you got. We'll see. Well, let's oh, you guys, you know, pull it out of his ass. Oh, nice. goes. <laughs> Damn straight. Yes. What better way to make I'm a prince of a fallen land. <laughs> yes. Piggy and squidge. <laughs> Piggy and squidge. <laughs> One is a genius. The other is insane. Uh, yes, I will uh, stroll up to Vandal Lagoon. What can I do for you? Oh, I just haven't had a chance to get acquainted with you yet, sir. Uh, just wondering what your story is, how you wound up aboard our former enslaved ship. Well, when you go out drinking, I recommend that you drink a little less. I went out with some pals, really some nice folks. I just got to town, never seen them before. We were drinking, we were laughing. I'm on a ship. Quite frankly, I lost a lot of stuff. If we could get that back, that would be great. Could you help me? I'm sure if it's still aboard the ship, you can... Hire. No, but it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. You seem really good at finding far away things. I can find them if they're around, but I wasn't awake when it came out. I'm sure once we conclude our business on this island, we can try to track down your possessions. What all did you have to begin with? But it's a secret. I can't tell you that part. Just trust me. When we get it, I'll share it with you. Is it something I want to be shared with me? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Once we hopefully claim our prize in this island, I will do my best to assist you finding this item that you cannot tell me what it is in the place of where we do not know where it is at. You're a good man, Decadic. Thank you. He hugs you. Yes, and uh, it's very nice, and thank you for your <laughs> invaluable tracking skills so far. Keep it up, and you may go far at the point of screw. Go two and a half foot, like, halfway. Yes, yeah. <laughs> like, you, you can, yes, very nice. What's your passive perception? My passive perception? Mm -hmm. Uh, plus six. Okay. Oh wait, that's my pleasant passive perception. Uh, over here on the left side, I uh, said 16. Yep. It's 10 plus. Not me. Okay. Great. Decadic has done socializing for the rest of the day. <laughs> You've met your quota. <laughs> Fuck humanity. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to get to know the people I have to sail with. Introvert <laughs> alert. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why he passes between towns, because nobody likes it. <laughs> day passes, uh, none of you notice anything particular during the night. Day passes by just fine. You camped outside of uh, where the, uh, the statue was. Uh, the statue appears to be fully mended. And it's back there, sitting with an empty blade. Let's go! Yeah, let's leave. Okay. Ask your our friend where to, which direction to go. You know, and we go. I can try. Think maybe north? North. Okay. Your character can roll with advantage. That survival check. Oh yeah. Plus. Ooh, seven. <laughs> Six. Thirteen with advantage. Thirteen. Okay. Uh roll me a Crash Bandicoot. <gasps> That's what he does. That's what he's a crash bandicoot. Can you roll your perception check? Hooray! 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 Hooray!
three. <laughs> yeah, you guys are perfectly safe. Yeah, it's fine. Wrong gear. Okay. Who dice is that? Right. Trey, you just showed up in time. Everyone roll me a d6. Oh, yeah, sure. Trey, you showed up in time. Roll a d6. Did we roll? One, One two, two, three, seven. four, five. So did you roll a six? <laughs> God. Yeah, we got spread. Yes. Okay. Good timing. Maybe those throw out the roll. Okay. Uh, you roll me a d6 uh, again. All right. Thank you. Two. Thank you. Oh, you want? You're one. <gasps> We're just all friendly and everything. Politeness, rebel! Okay, Neil, roll me a perception check again. Are you dead? <laughs> Best not have died. Ready? <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. Four. <laughs> <laughs> It improves. Progress. We're moving up in the world, baby. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Portents. I need to roll my portents for the day. Isle of Dread? More like Isle of Bullshit. How about a 16 instead? Okay. 16 plus one. Plus one. 17. Yeah, you like to look there. I'm like, open your eyes when you look. Yeah. Oh. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. So you use one of the portents? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, 16. 17. Ooh, 17. Okay. Ooh, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, nice. I like that. <laughs> Good times. So, uh, <laughs> you guys make it up forward one square. Uh, I can't barely see the, uh, the screen. I'm sorry. I'm just having trouble seeing the, uh, the screen. How about you open your fucking eyes? Okay, so yeah, you guys you are currently right. right. Can you that? Can you? Yes, I can. So one, two, three, four, five. You guys are uh, one, two, three. Four, five. I don't know who it is. I think it's for anybody. So you guys are currently about about here. Uh, you guys are now fully within the mountain lands of the plains. Not, I would say mountain lands, hill lands. It's just a bunch of hilly plains like Iowa. Uh, okay, uh, we're home. You guys see us in the first place to get us nice. Riverside, Iowa. <laughs> All I've done so far is rest for the day and scar on the cock with us. That's where you're going. Hello. Oh, and sorry. Stories. Okay. Yeah. Is it hills? Yeah, it's uh, basically a bunch of hills and uh, sense lanes. As Tony has one. Ten? Do we want pen or do we want pencil? I don't care. Eh. This is the map we write on. Activate! Sure. Can, uh, pen. roll me a, another survival check. Oh, right. two different sets. Like this one is without advantage. Thirteen. Thirteen. You no. think there's water to maybe I'm north, just northeast? I'm complaining about it. Like I ordered uh, it. Uh, anyway, uh, roll like me. Do you want to head of, of more north or more northeast? Okay. Um, Kneecaps, you'd have a better idea, at least like, some sort of idea. Of this okay, village, I will. Right on, whatever. He thinks either more north or more northeast. Yeah, him. No, the ones you just made. Rutherford, yeah, now I All right, let's go away from the water. I just want to be a part of the team. I want to be a part of the team. Okay, you are going to head to the square to your northeast. You're heading I'm going kind of north east. left one. Good, good for her. <laughs> oh, sick burn! Northeast or northwest? Get wrecked, player. Northeast. Uh, That's okay. northwest. Or, yeah, northwest. Right? Jack taking a long rest? Yes. Yeah, yes. a long rest. Yes. So that's what, hills? Uh, yes, more hills and more plains. More. You do see more uh, hills to your, and plains to your north, and you see forest. To your northwest, dense jungle. So northwest forest. Okay, uh, you guys get one more check for the day. Uh, roll me a d6 again. Oh, everybody! Oh, everybody! Oh, am I rolling a d6 again? Yep, yeah. everybody. Okay, so how many Ooh. fours do I have? Only one. one four. Okay, roll me a d6 again. 
are you, Big X? What? Yeah. You guys narrow, uh, narrowly uh, escape a bunch of Triceratopses. You see, Ooh. you see a, a giant herd of them walk by, hide behind the hills, and eventually they just pass by. There's maybe twenty-five of them. Damn. Where the fuck is my ex? Can I seduce them? Can you seduce them? I don't want to. Never mind. I changed my mind. I'm not going to. No! Can you imagine? They are a horn. That kind of bestiality. It would be like mini me humping that globe. Yeah. Okay, since the last time I recorded, how many days have passed? Two? Uh, this only one day has passed. You're on the next day. So we're on day 33 instead of day 32. Yes. yes. Which was last time we met. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, do you guys want to head north or northeast? Both are currently good to the Phantom. So north would head into there. more plains, and then northeast would head to more uh, uh, would head into the forest. Northeast or northwest? North. Northwest. Northwest. Okay. Northwest. northwest. Let's go into more forest. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, roll me a survival check with advantage. Thirteen. Thirteen. Everyone roll me a D8. Every freaking survival check. Oh. D8. Oh. Um. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything wrong. Here you go. Numero five. Three, four, five, two, and four. Okay. You guys are able to. You guys travel deep to the forest, to the northwest. You camp. As you camp. Still on day 33, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close to ending it. Two, three, four. Captain, Mm -hmm. roll me a perception check. Oh, right. Uh, Actually, an investigation. Investigation check. Oh, investigation. Yeah. Uh, Enterprise notes. Eighteen. Eighteen. As you are traveling by, uh, and, and it's starting to get dark. Yeah. Most yeah. people who do not have dark vision might not sure. see. Just as uh, it is a very thick canopy, kind of like the rainforest, where it kind of like literally is like night as you're walking into the tree lines. Uh, you see above you in the trees randomly. What appears to be uh, sticks and vines made into a circular shape. They have many different vines cast across them that look like an A. You notice because there's a little bit of yellow paint on some of them. They appear to be, I guess the real world equivalent would be like a dream catcher. Except with very specific shapes in each one. Sometimes like an A, sometimes with like different like uh, weird shapes, but all of them intricately made, purposely made. Nature couldn't have made these. And they're attached into the trees above you in random places. It's not the make of animals. Can I make a history check on it at all? No, it's not very historical. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna stop and uh, look at uh, ask ask Fo- ask me, cop, if he knows what that is. Those eyes, Mr. Smooth. So, me, cop. Me, cop will take a look. What proficiencies does me, cop, have? <clears throat> Nature and stealth. Hmm. Huh. I think I've seen those before. Oh, yes. 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 Uh, the Watchers at Night. They put those up there. And who? The Watchers at Night. They look from a distance in the jungles at night. They watch you, glowing yellow eyes, growls. They like to stalk you for days. They 
hide. Very good at hiding. They pounce. You do not eat us, though. I like my kills. They hunt uh, bigger prey. The great elder knows of them. He has had deals with their elder. But they are the watchers. They guide the realms of the oh. <laughs> They don't attack your folk. No, nothing I've ever lived to tell to tell. So they may attack your folk. Yeah, or something else. Remember when people die at night in the forest? No one knows why. Just gone. Maybe pieces of fur left. It's dangerous to be a wanderer, but very profitable. So we list the group and then say, Captain, we need to double the watches. Agree. Did he say what those things were for? Uh, if he knows. Hmm. Well, it must be close then, at least if we've seen these before. This yeah, morning, we'll cast identify as a ritual to try to figure out what they are. Uh, you, you would know it would only tell you the use of something. And this is probably a relic. Probably a religious what, relic. Okay. You don't think you get anything out of it. They do, are definitely not magical. Okay. That's good at least. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Me no. Uh, what do they mean? Ow. Scarlet, you're gonna really need to step up your game on watch. Hmm. Would I've only seen these occasionally. Normally when they say that we see these, we're supposed to go the other way. That's what I've been told. How far to your village? Oh, well, we're getting closer. I think we are within a day, maybe two days. Do we need to go through this forest? Generally, I head north and around. Perhaps we should head north and around. If it normally means turn the other way, then yes. Let me see. To safer. Yeah. North and around. North and around? North and around in the morning. We can make a little bit of distance from here first. Just a little bit back, at least. Oh. Back to the hills? We're going to have to travel at night, but we can do it. Get a little dark. Get me torches? Yeah. Maybe can't light. So you guys uh, maybe head back south towards the edge of the woods? Ooh, a suggestion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to take a couple hours. You are going to be traveling a little bit at night. I need everyone to roll me a D. Uh, six. How big is everybody? Medium. Medium. Uh, about a good seven inches. <laughs> Nine for Bjorn. That's oh, a <laughs> um, <laughs> well, Scarlet has to decide. Scarlet can accommodate. <laughs> the only notes you made from that one game. <laughs> uh, uh, D6. Uh, I was going to say, I have Tiny Hut. The, the night before last in our mm. uh, game. Your Sunday oh, game? Wait, yeah. Um, and, uh... <laughs> two. And we, two. We had a roll off between me and him. Yeah. 2d6. Because they asked the other question, size. what's my cock size? And I am a true believer in random. So, so this thing could have been a cube. And I was like, alright, cool, I'll do it too. <laughs> Nine inches. And I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's about that wide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a needle that pokes you. It's uncomfortable, and it's bad for both parties. <laughs> it's very brittle. Um, you know, you shot so if we're going to camp for the night, I'll go ahead and cast Liam. You tiny guys hit. have not reached that point. Uh, who rolled a two? Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can you guys both roll again? Yeah. On a D8. On a color. D6. Put a one. Five. Okay. Trey's character. You're ahead. You have the torch. You got a gun out. 
kind of just walking around. You're on the left flank. Mm -hmm. You guys have kind of got like a three point, uh, maybe dispersion. Probably your char uh, your your alternate character at the head, captain in the center to relay commands. Uh, probably the gunner on the left, and uh, maybe somebody off to the right, maybe Decadic. Yeah, you're dependable. You're off to the right. Anyway, so. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this one. Oh, wait. Uh, Trey, as bad. your character is traveling movies. through the woods, um, nice. you know, you're, you're cutting up jungle, you're kind of moving vines. It's very, very much like traveling through thick jungle. You know, you're, you're, you're really just like cutting brush out of the so way. So it's CCR run through the jungle playing in the background. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice there must be some way to get out of here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, anyway, uh, as your character uh -huh. cuts away some brush, some long grass, and moves it to the side, just to make sure you don't step in any scorpions, tre uh, breeding pits, or any rattler snakes, or any quicksand, uh, your character uh -huh. steps forward, and as you do, you see a head on a pike. <clears throat> Crash? Uh... Roll me a medicine check. Are you proficient? Probably not. Uh, it doesn't look too rotted. <laughs> That's definitely it's a okay. Uh, I got a plus two in it, so it would be, he's, you know, he's merely seven. Pretending to be dead. Seven. Uh, I won't say it's as bad. If you'd rolled a one, it would have been like that bad on, uh, what's the name of that movie? Um... Uh, Tropic Thunder. Oh my god. <laughs> See, you don't Tropic Thunder it. <laughs> like, oh, it tastes like corn syrup. Uh, but you do definitely, like, you look at it like, oh my god, a fresh head. Would you like someone... A fresh to... human head on a pipe. Staring you at the face. You've never seen this face before. Uh, do you tell us about this? Stay Gentlemen and face. ladies, uh, hold position. Can I? Do I see the head now? What's the problem? Okay. Uh, I found the head. Up. Okay. Can I go up and inspect it? Uh, yeah, you're a halfling, right? Yes. Yeah, you don't have dark vision. So yes, yes, you can. You can see his torch. Yeah. You can hear him. Can you go up there? Yeah, I will. I'm gonna go up there and I'll do the medicine check on it if I can. Okay. Who else goes up there? I might go check it out. Uh -oh. Okay. So the captain, and you go and check it out. Yep, that's what we said we were doing. Yeah. Okay. As you look at it, you start taking a look at the head. Uh, roll me a medicine check. Medicine! I'm super awesomely proficient. No, Chewy, don't touch that. Oh, that's a... God, that's a nine. God. That's a hell all right. I rolled the opposite of you. <laughs> God. Yeah, it's like a normal human head. Yeah, it's a, it's a head I've seen before, you know. You're, before. you're having difficulty telling how long it's been there. Yeah. I mean, there's flies, obviously the bugs have gotten to it. Okay. But with, like, how dense this jungle is, you think, like, literally a dead body would not take long to get to, picked apart. Oh, oh, okay, that kind of, I see. Okay. Uh, it's in a spike that is in the ground. Uh, it is to the neck. It has been brained. Yeah. So it's still in there. The spike is sticking out of the top of the head. Um, and it is, it has a circular cut. Uh, since you, uh, uh, he gets the torch a little bit closer, you kind of raise the brow a little bit. Yeah. You notice there's a circular, there's a circular cut into the forehead oh. with an A shape across the top. Um, so oh. if I'm, anarchist, hold on, if I'm, three, it's much like the anarchy symbol. It's not out of character, but it, it looks like. So I'm about three feet ten inches. How high is this above my head? Like, you know, is it at five feet? Cause it uh, it's it's at about uh, four feet. Okay. So, so you're it's not way yeah. Like, okay. You okay. Was, you would have had to got like lift it up a little bit to like take a look at gotcha. it. Is it the same A like symbol from the other area? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely anarchist. <laughs> Sounds like breaking spaghetti. Well, one way, it went to turn around. We went the other way, and now we're here being told to turn around again, so we have to go through somewhere, evidently. Here's an option. Just burn down the whole jungle, napalm style. Flush Charlie out. I don't know what this napalm is, but it sounds <laughs> glorious. <laughs> that was out of there. <laughs> don't think I've learned that spell yet. Charlie, don't surf. Burn him back to the Stone Age, son! dun 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 Oh my god. 
That's a good question. There's one, two, three, four, five of you. Where are the beetles? Roll me a perception check. I will roll and a your perception. Your best. Well, give me, give, let me ask, what is your passive perception? My passive perception is a 12. You do not get a roll. Never mind. Hey, you know, it's your game, you make the rules, I follow them. Um, there we go. That too? <laughs> Mr. Smoot, do you think we should just end up stopping here? Should we continue on? We should probably keep going. I don't want to stop near ahead. I don't know you didn't too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not a pig head. Oh my god, <laughs> nice. I'm holding the conch. I get All to right. talk. <laughs> Travel a bit further then. Keep your, hands off Keep my your eyes open. Doubly. <laughs> well, nice. So you're all been commanded to keep your eyes open. I'll make another roll. Forever. Actually, your character now gets a roll since he has commanded you to keep your eyes open. All right. Now perception, right? Yeah, perception. <sighs> oh, that is a thirteen. Not much better than passive, but um, I I yeah. assume um, go, yeah. I assume even if, even at night it's still a pretty noisy jungle, or is it really quiet? It, it's like cicadas going on. Okay, right they're, okay. They're, they're, uh, in an active jungle. There's bugs. Yeah, and those bugs are fucking. That's what loud. I was picturing, but I, yeah. I I see maybe that's the reason why I can't like hear anything. Because I was gonna ask if I hear anything, but I was like, if bugs, yeah, that'd be fine. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, go ahead and roll me an investigation check anyways at disadvantage. Me? Yep. Oh. I feel like I'm involved. Disadvantage, you said? Disadvantage. Ooh. Ooh. You're looking at it. With disadvantage, that is a 26. Wow. I rolled a 20 and a 19. Nice. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's plus seven, so 26. So as your character is walking by in the distance, and you're like at the left flank now near his character, yeah, because uh, you have night vision, and the flame is actually able to extend your night vision a little bit. I have night vision? Oh, wait, no, you don't have night no, vision. No, I don't. Never mind. No. Uh, since you're now with, uh, by somebody with a torch, instead of like following a person in the distance with a torch, yeah. trying to step in where they're stepping, uh, you're now by somebody with a torch. Yeah. And you're kind of more aware. You're super aware because now you're there's like symbols like everywhere. To, there's a separate yeah. head. You're just kind of you're basically investigating everything. Yeah. You're you may be passing by everything, but as you pass by, your mind is kind of digesting it, kind of like cool. Cards. Eventually, you're kind of scanning left to right, and eventually, as you're scanning left, you keep walking, you keep walking. Your brain all of a sudden goes, "Wait a minute, there's something wrong." A second ago, you, your mind, your eyes have passed by a tree. It's passed by a tree you didn't think of anything, but your mind was starting to digest the shape of that tree. Yeah. That tree, there was a man shape by that tree. And you remember yellow glowing eyes. This is maybe like 30 seconds ago. The yellow glowing eyes in a shape of a man, like hunkered against a tree like this. Oh, like he was... Yeah, it's, it's not quite like a man, but it's like a man outline. Um, I'm the predator. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna immediately. If it bleeds, we can kill it. I'm going to immediately say, "Stop, everyone! Stop, everyone! Cease movement." Yes. Okay. And just a moment ago, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna try to say this as quietly as I can, so everybody can hear me. There was a shape. That tree. Don't look at it yet. It had yellow eyes. It's off for just a second. Now I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's not good. It had yellow eyes. Now there's no shape on man. Camouflaged like that tree. I like this tree. Yeah. No, before they do that. <laughs> Do I know which tree he's, she's talking about? I, I'm gonna uh, try to point out. Roll me an intelligence check. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah Ooh, not bad. Thirteen plus intel. <clears throat> Two, fifteen. Fifteen. You think you can figure out what tree it is? I'm going to. Bang! 
bang and shoot whatever's there. Roll the attack with disadvantage. Oh, now watch, this is the shot that hits. Uh oh. Uh, with the old, uh, that'll be 12 to hit. Okay. Do I at least hit the tree? <laughs> So as your character saying this, you're like behind his character. His oh. character is ahead with the. With the, with the, with the, with the, with the just you have it at the hip. Barrel. You got you got your which which gun do you have? The uh, repeating rifle. You got the repeating okay. rifle at your hip. All of a sudden, he raises it up. He turns ah! around. The gun's above your head. Boom! <laughs> you feel the vibration as it goes. Do, 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 do. You steady the gun on your head. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, steadies it on your head, makes a shot. As you do, a tree in the in the distance explodes. Boom! Something hits against it. This wasn't with um, um, uh, bad, bad news. news. This is just okay, with a normal rifle. So you so you you, uh, uh, you do you do you do see an impact on a tree like there's you hear and there's like <laughs> the like bark and shit going everywhere. Okay, in the distance you hear birds panic. You were. The cicadas around you stop. The world becomes oddly quiet. It's been loud so long with like mating cicadas, birds, everything else. The silence almost leaves a ringing in your ears. That could just be the sound of the gun. Uh, all right, I hope you're all ready. What? <laughs> <laughs> Roll me an investigation check. Yeah. That was cool. That was cool, Tony. That just oh, phew. that was nice. That's what happens when you fire a gun in the woods. Well, Everything that, that shuts and the fuck just, up. And the, <laughs> I'm gonna use my other portent for that roll. So for a total of uh, twenty-four. Total of twenty-four. Nice. The total twenty-four. Those bird noises you hear in the distance aren't birds. You know what birds sound. They're a little bird, too bird. deep, a little too fake to be birds. Bird, bird. To everyone else, they sound like birds. They're very close. But you spent too many years in wizarding college studying birds. <laughs> they were my only real friends. <laughs> Everybody knows that the bird is a bird. Bird watcher. <laughs> Those aren't birds. It appears out of everywhere around you, maybe 12, 13 places. (laughs) (laughs) We should prepare. Circle the wagons! What is it that the black guy yells in Predator after Jesse Ventura gets blown away? And he grabs the minigun and just goes to town. On Pretty the- sure he just goes. Ah! <laughs> that was written in the script. Yes. yes. With a repeater, it's gonna take a lot of shots and a long time to see what he did with that minigun. <laughs> Hold on. Did that that a gun sign gun? minigun? Maybe. It'd take you a while. Yeah. It'd be heavy as hell. It'd be more like a Gatling gun. Ooh. Do you have the ammo for a Gatling gun? I could figure it out. Anyway, <laughs> what do your characters do? We are gonna. I'll cast Rage work. Armor on myself. Okay. I will. Are we ready for a fight, or we get the fuck out as fast as possible? I'm gonna activate with the flaming sword. Yeah. <laughs> Got another torch. Okay. It's a 15 foot radius for that one. That's fine. All right. If we take another look at where that tree was, I assume nothing's going on. I don't see anything over there. You see a you see a big hole in the tree. Like it's been splintered. Like the ex, uh, they they hit from like bullets of that era. They're big bullets, so it leaves a big mark. Uh, no sign of a musket person ball? or thing that got. Yeah, about musket ball. Dang. Yeah, that's not gonna be fun. Hmm? But does just see a tree that got hit, right? Nothing just a tree. There. Just a tree. You um, don't see what she was talking about. Okay. Was it that tree that I shot? Was it the tree that I shot? It was, it was right in front of that tree at one point. It was, it was right in front of that, that the tree. I'm going to go up to the tree and start looking around to see if I see anything. Don't, don't look the group. Leave the group. There, Roll there's, me there's, an investigation check. The rest of us will stand back to back, back to back, back to back. 
The goon, you can go out. Oh, I'm Let's sorry. Investigate. Spine to spine to spine to spine. Is that better? 17. 17. You're Look. looking around the tree. As you look behind the back of the tree, there's a huge bowie knife that's stabbed into the back of the tree <laughs> with a very long feathered uh, uh, chain behind it. Like there's a long uh, cord with feathers attached to the end of it. Very big bowie knife. It's got a lot of ritual carving. Is it almost like a cleaver? Almost. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like a bowie. It's shaped like this, like it's meant to cut into things. It's into the tree. The tree is has some... What you, what you notice now, and you kind of notice when you... You couldn't see from the front because there's a light on it because you have a torch. As you're looking behind the back, because the, the back side is dark and you have a torch on the side, you notice that the sap going from it is fluorescent. Ooh. It's not dark. Or on Pandora. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what do Get you back see? Get back here. Rutherford, where do you go? What do your human eyes see? Yeah, Perhaps on. somebody with more articulate eyes should come and investigate this, but I have found something. Oh, which you better like Dallas? So you turn back to everybody and I, yeah, I, I do that over my shoulder, but I'm watching the rest of the jungle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's move our formation over. So <laughs> that, yeah. Let's all just go. We'll all go together. Everybody cram off to the tree. You notice there's an arrow now there. <laughs> Does it look like it's just been shot? There wasn't an arrow there before. Uh, and the knife's right. gone. Yeah. What? What's yeah. The... And the knife's gone. Jesus. This is so cool. Can we just 10 out of 10 for coolness points right now. Just say We're definitely not alone. No, we can't. Sure where, where is the arrow, like, the direction from? Uh, that way. Uh, directly into the darkness of the jungle. I stare off in the darkness. Can I see anything? Uh, you got 120, right? Yeah. And, uh, I'll give you a chance with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, investigation, not perception. Um, not bad. Because you're trying to look into something, not passable. Uh, so investigation, and then just a 14. Just 14. For a 14. For a minute in the distance, you think you saw movement, but it was really fast. Um, like the, you, and you didn't see anything move. You saw like a bush move a little bit in a way that normally it wouldn't move with the breeze. The breeze is coming towards you, but it's like... Shh, Oh, it's like people fucking in that bush. I'm gonna shoot the bush. No, Just for a second. <laughs> well, is that a proposal? Because, I mean, we can. You I think if somebody is following you, <laughs> they're following you at a distance, and they know this jungle, and they can really see in the dark. Um, Pretty sure they can follow us, too. Damn it, I wanted that big ass knife. Yeah, can. That would have be, been cool. Would be alright if I tried to investigate the sap? Uh, your character can go up and you can uh, investigate the sap and grab a little bit. Yeah, uh, I was going to take a sample. It, 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 is, it is thick. It is just like tree sap. Oh. But it glows. Now when it's on your fingers, it's like stuck on your fingers, okay. like real sap. Okay. So it's not thin. It is, it is, it gloopy. is gloopy. Okay, cool. Um, it's like glue. Yeah. Uh, do I need to roll for an investigation or anything? Uh no, I, okay. you can you can harvest some if you can. I will. You you notice the tree type, and you've seen a lot of these different ones. Here. Okay, yeah, I'll just pick like a test tube ish, uh, yeah. whatever's closest in this world. Yeah, yeah. If you have a vial, I uh, have yeah a vial. That's it. That's what uh, I'm I'll let you take a vial since you're a doctor. You probably have that. Yep. For your medical kit, you can fill up a vial of it. You have a vial of glowing light. And you can. Uh, I will say for a, <laughs> a period of time, as long as it exposed to sunlight for at least the day, at night, you have a five foot radius of light. Oh, cool. Five feet, oh, but still something. <laughs> yes, snap first. Have someone uh, check the arrow for poison. Go ahead. I can, I, can I identify the arrow? Anything? It, it'll just tell you it's an arrow. Identify will give you the function, but it won't tell you it's poison. Can I use Brewmaster? No, I'm not going to do that. Actually, if you have your Brewmaster, you could. Oh, well, I do have. Oh, shit. Well, back up, dude. Yes! You do have the equivalent of the mirror. You take the arrow out, you pull it from the tree sap. Uh, you kind of push off the tree sap. Is this you or your backup? As you push, no, up, as you push the I'm tree sorry, sap out of the way, arrow. you notice that the oh, obsidian no, blade, uh, as you wipe it off, 
there's not obsidian that comes off in your hand. It's like a black mucus material. You smell it, and it smells acidic. This arrow has been poisoned. <clears throat> You're not sure what kind of poison. Uh, you can definitely Katie, tell. This is a poisoned arrow. What are you gathering from the blade of this particular arrow? Or tip, I should say. I don't know precisely what this is, but it is a poison of some kind. Mm. These are definitely just the type to try to pick us off in the dark. They're not going to come out and fight us, probably. Speaking of which, uh, sort of a check. Is everyone still here? Oh, good. Oh, nice. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. One. Oh, my God. 22. <laughs> I'm not here! <laughs> Everybody uh, look for me! <laughs> Wait a Every, second. Where is everybody? Everyone appears to be here. Okay, good. Everyone appears to be here. Because she could have taken her son instead. She could have stayed. She turns into a Looney Tunes cartoon, the lights go out your eyes and eventually pick off, kind of away. I uh, get a pair of yellow. The thing oh. you do notice is. Are there more of us here than there should be? No. <laughs> Tunicators! <laughs> I want to roleplay that for the next two hours. <laughs> you want to be the other mechanic? <laughs> God, no. You, you don't notice. I don't know. Every, everyone's here. So it's got to be one of us. I knew what happened. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Edwin! <laughs> I pull out the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet's back on the ship. My chest opens. <laughs> it pops off and walks away. Yeah, yeah, this is not the episode of the thing that is further north of here. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. We're, in, then we'll we're in Predator Town, okay? Who run Predator Town? <laughs> we should start making Master our way. Killer. I was in a thousand yeah, directly as we can. Master. <laughs> I am going to order Lagoon to attempt to get us out of the forest ASAP. We're going to be okay. fucking tired. <laughs> Up all night. Okay. Uh, you order Lagoon to get you out of the forest. Fucking... Roll me one more survival check. Uh, just a normal straight roll. Oh, good. Um, plus six. 22. 22. Eventually, you are able to exit uh, back into nearly the topmost hex. So the, the previous hex you were inside... <laughs> uh, you're actually back in that hex with the mountains, but you're in the northeasternmost tip, so you could move into the next hex to the north view if you want. Which is the plains. You mean north? North, directly north. Uh, it's super The one right on top. Yeah. Isn't there? It was kind of dark. We go here. Oh, we're in one of those. Shit, then we ran away from that. Follow. So I got this one, which has the other stuff. Been up all fucking day. You know? That's why we rested the whole oh, night. Oh, can I see? Uh, you're talking about like no. you. It's like, aren't you supposed to be can up I see, all day? Can I see your map? I'm just gonna mark it. <laughs> Fine. That's traditionally what people do. Don't judge me. I'll night owl if I want. If, if, if I, I catch you chopping at all, uh, I be again <laughs> at night. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably say hello, but that's about it. <laughs> Better not now. I don't live near there. Oh, that's right. You moved back this one. Uh, the one north east of you is uh, is mountain is uh, hills. Well, okay. hills and we'll get here in two weeks. Then how dare you? <laughs> is it hills? No, I should I should have. It's both. Too. It's a little bit of hills and prairie. Yes. There's apartments near. Kind of like northern there. Iowa. Those are like those are kind of north. Uh, north. Uh, 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 if you want, just put hills. Put like a little bit of grass below. Oh yeah, they are building. Because there's tall grass areas, but then there's hills. That's on, so it slopes up and down. Do these but it's not like six foot uh, grass; it's more like three foot grass. The trees just did. I don't really want the hills to also. That stuff that was cool. Anyway, uh, so you guys eventually make camp in the hills. Yeah. Uh, I will say what you're like a hundred yards away from the trees. Yeah. Beverly Hills. Woo! Okay, uh, you guys camp. Who is taking what watch? Last watch. First watch. Second watch. This third watch. Yes, me. Are there only four? There are only four watches. Oh, I'm rolling a D4. So you just have to be back up then. Yeah. You rest for two hours and then you take the last two watches. That you're a full elf? Yeah, we should still double up watches. And... Oh, okay, okay. okay. That's the plan, okay. Because you only need four hours of sleep. Yeah, God, I miss that plan now. 
Oof, I like elves. Okay, who has the last watch? Elves and dwarves. Okay. Last watch. As the sun is starting to slowly crest in the sky, you see a glowing in the forest. As if somebody had stabbed a torch in the ground and lit a flame. Just a glowing in the forest. What do you do? Yes. Forest is glowing. As far as I'm concerned, it can keep glowing. I'm not interested in going anywhere near there again. Fair enough. Okay. One other thing. Uh, I will roll a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Five, you are six on your Five. Uh, Decada, could you bed down for the night? You notice your 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 rightmost pocket is filled with feathers. Well, where's your where's your uh, squirrel dude? What's he doing? Like the feathers on the bow, you know? Oh, okay. uh, I didn't know if he had. Did you ever, heck? Did you ever see those? Because he only saw them, and then he turned around, and then the Bowie knife was gone. Oh, good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to show him the Trey's character? I'll just announce that large, like, don't know why I have this in my pocket. This is the first watch or last? What, what, what? This has been like during before the watches. Oh, oh, even before we started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So we're all still awake. You're all still awake. You're about to sleep. Um, I rolled all these stealth rolls straight. Though, if so we're camping straight. for the night, can I go ahead and cast So what do the these feathers the look like? Yeah, yeah, what does that do? It's, I'll, I'll read it. Hold on. Oh, is that the one that creates the cube? Uh, ten foot radius and mobile dome of force springs into existence around you and remains stationary for the duration. The spell ends when you leave the area. Uh, do we keep reading? No, no, no. I, I know it. I okay, know. good. Uh, the, the only errata I have is it has a hardness of 20, so it can be broken eventually. Oh, yeah. I, I'm fine with that. I just want to, like, it'll protect us a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The advantage over towers, you can control the environment inside, so you could add air to something if there's a poison. Yeah. The downside is, unlike the tower spell, it has less, so it could be penetrated. Yeah. Well, but it's it as if you got a solid, like like a. a yeah, thick but this wall. is clear too, isn't it? Uh, it's opaque. You can make the outside oh. look any color you want. I will make. Well, I, I'll do this after the feather incident. Okay. But I'll make the outside just look like. A mound of leaves and twigs. Okay. You guys got a 10 foot radius right. square. Uh, since there's so many of you, you're going right. to have to sleep really close to each other. Yeah. Well, it can, yeah, can no, we're taking double watches too. It can so take nine medium creatures. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I know that we don't have a ton of room. And you have exactly about nine. Because right? yeah. you, you have companions. Oh, that's right. We do, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's tight in there. Mm-hmm. When people fart, it's bad. First, they fart, they get kicked out of the tiny hut. <laughs> You're a watch! <laughs> so, he shows me these feathers. I'll make it... Oh, give they're, they're definitely down feathers. They're very colorful. But the thing that concerns you, they put feathers in his pocket. You did not notice someone's hand in your fucking pocket? I was a little more concerned with the poison-tipped arrow in the tree. Fuck me. Am I uh, missing me anything? Can you hear me? Is she kidding me? Oh, I lost that. You no, wake up with a tab of ice. <laughs> <laughs> Tricks on them. I already sold both my kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you checked your pocket? Cut me over with just property of me on this. I... I took out you. my wand just before you fired up a shot in the dark. I didn't notice feathers then. Did I? No. Alright, so they've put feathers in your pocket between then and now. So either they're following us or they did that to fuck with us. Or both. What happened? I mean, if it's the second one, I'll take it. Either you're marked to death, or they're telling us to leave. (laughs) (laughs) 
I just picture her go, she goes, yeah, that, that's, that's I feel like we're inevitably in all of our conversation as Tiny Hut. <laughs> She's like, well, shut up over there. <laughs> this is a private conversation. <laughs> Pull the curtain. <laughs> Now hold on, where the hell did you get a curtain? This is my side of the hut. You stay on that side. The rest of you share that half. I'm There's having, a line! I'm having a rave in my corner. I'm trying to have a piss over here. <laughs> Captain, can I curl up with you, literally? <laughs> oh. You gotta bend in the same way. Can, can, oh can Scarlet sit in the middle of your corner? <laughs> I'd say yes, except that's where my head goes, and that'll make it even weirder for me. Oh, yes. Oh. Might, actually, <laughs> might actually wake him up and he's like, eat you. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually. How do you feel about Vor? <laughs> You're in this spot about being in a sleeping bag. <laughs> and you wake up and I'm in Athens <laughs> eating most of you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a. I'm not, I'm not, I'm fade to black, black, fade to black! black. This shit again. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Feathers in my pocket. Okay. Freaked out a little bit. Yeah. I don't know what else to do beyond that. Nothing to do. Is your tiny hut made of wood? Like, can they set the hut on fire while we're in it? Is that uh, No, it's just uh, a no, it, wall it, it's force. basically okay. like a, yeah, it's like an opaque wall of force. You can see through it by people looking in, uh-huh. and it's opaque. Uh, I've made it kind of dimly lit the inside. The wall of force has about 20 hardness, which is about the equivalent of uh, about an inch of concrete. So it can be broken through, but somebody's definitely going to have to work at it. So we'll have at least a warning. Oh, yeah. No, you, you'll get a warning. All right. Yeah, we can move through it freely because I let us. Yeah, you can move through it freely, except for the caster. Once it moves out, it's gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you got to hold it all night. Which I can do. It's, it's, we it's have one extra hours water in the hut. Concentration. Yes. Just, yeah. You can't move out of it. No, I can't. Hopefully you're not like a sleepwalker. <laughs> you need to hold it all I night. picture me starting to move, and the ground, and everyone gets dragged along with it. Everybody gets dragged up against the back. This is why you're coiled in, inside me. <laughs> For safety. Sorry, you're in my coil. It's not coiled in me. <laughs> so, yeah, the night passes by. <laughs> Quiet. Nothing but loud insects and in distance towards where all the forest is, the occasional bird crying out. Sometimes you see a plesiosaur pass by the moon Ooh. in the distance. Wait a minute. Wait. That's a wild yeah. plesiosaur. Yeah. Yeah. You mean like oh, a which, brachiosaur? Which one's a flying one? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. The pterodactyl. The size of pterodactyl. Pteranodon. Like to the quadrant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, uh, 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 yeah, a pterodactyl flying across the. Uh, <laughs> One of the feathery ones. Oil, oil. I don't know. But that's it. Uh, the day that's awakens. Uh, yeah, that one. Thank you. I don't nothing know else. You don't see any symbols. <laughs> you don't see anything else. You don't seem to have. Uh, no anything so- else except for the torch burning in the wood at night. Okay. The woods. So it's morning. Next morning. All right. Are we all still here? Well, we're all inside the hut, right? I turn it off. You're, you're all still here. I turn cool. off the hut. Any extra feathers anywhere? Yeah. Everyone check their pockets. <laughs> Everyone checks their pockets. No extra feathers. It's a pigeon now. Ah! People are here. There's more feathers. <laughs> Just a string of scarves. <laughs> whoa, what's this? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're attacked by cheap magicians. <laughs> Oh god! Hold still! Oh my god, it's a coin! <laughs> Achoo! Just waves of business cards. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go around the, those forest layers. Yeah, we'll take the long way around. We'll take the long way around. Okay, that yeah. is going to be the square to your northeast. Real northeast this time? Real northeast. Well, for reference, you did say night was the more dangerous time for them, right? In theory? Yeah. 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 They mostly night come out there. So in daytime, we should be fine. So sure. you were right there. So However, let's hit the hill in the, in the grass. <laughs> right, yes. right there. That, 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 this one. Yeah, like yeah. the scenic groups. You were, Take you were the right there. Uh, you yeah. were right there. Let's walk on the yeah. tall grass. That's where all the, the what weirdness happened. Yeah. Uh, that's where you are. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, you are still used to. Okay, uh. Just that one time. 
Okay, maybe. Yeah, what the hell? Do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Marking your guess path you've been so far. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick pee. Let's take a quick uh, quick five minute break. Four drink. I hope you enjoyed your cuddling last night. I did. And I didn't mind my character enjoying one too. <laughs> I sleep alone. <laughs> uh-huh. Get one of those boyfriend pillows. I was, we, were, we were talking about those at work. How you can get like as like an arm, and then, yeah. and then they also have um, one that's like a woman's lap. Okay, so we're on oh, yeah. day thirty-five. Awesome. No. I didn't know that one. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's like for businessmen who are like worn out, they get a woman's lap to lay on. Yeah. But it literally is like everything from the torso. I got the "We'll be place. right back" thing on. Now don't Thank leave you. it on like you did Saturday. What do you mean leave it on? Didn't you leave, you left it on for like a long time Saturday? Oh yeah, shoot! I, I kept it on for like half the day. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, After alive. these messages, we'll be right, right back. back. Copyright infringement. Woohoo! They can suck my dick. Our other sponsor is the lawsuits. Bring them on! Bring them on! I don't got shit. It's gonna be awkward as I list stuff of things <laughs> I don't have that you can sue me for. The lawyer walks in and says, But you have figs, don't you? <laughs> no! Not the figs! Give me a donut. Oh. In the 1982 film, Blade Runner, Rutger Hauer played a replicant who dies in the year 2019. 37 years later, Rutger Hauer actually dies in 2019. Did he have a secretary named Lincoln? No. Oh. <laughs> Think on the deathbed, he said that whole speech. I kind of hope. Dolph Lundgren is the one with a molecular biology degree, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yes. Jojo Rabbit. I so want to see that. It looks ridiculous. Yep. Is that Hitler? Oh, wait. What's that? Wait. Yeah, yeah. And exactly. that's who's playing Hitler. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's, I gotta say, that's a ballsy move. Yeah, real ballsy. Thor Ragnarok, and now you're playing Hitler. Excuse me, sorry. Getting late for each. Was a Star Wars movie this fall? It was winter? Uh, yeah, yeah, December. Okay. The, la- the, the last one. Kind of yeah, 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 whatever. So, between Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, that movie, and Star Wars, it's really about all I'm excited for. Mm-hmm. You weren't excited for uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters? It was not. It was amazing. It was in theaters and it was awesome. I know. I never saw it. I didn't see John Wick three. I wanted to, but I didn't. There's another one I wanted to see. I can't remember what it was. The fact that I saw Endgame was a minor miracle. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, the hubbub they made about avoiding spoilers for that movie. <laughs> Basically, everything that happened did happen. Yeah. Well, it was mm-hmm. a four hour movie, so. Much time for everything to happen. What movie? And, yeah, yeah, the first part surprised me. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, there's some twists in there, but yeah, it's like, it's like, don't tell me anything. It's like, okay, well, what do you think's gonna happen? Yes, that happens. Uh, okay, cool. You haven't seen it, have you? No, God no. What yeah, do you think God, no. That happens. I'm more pissed that I missed Godzilla. Yeah, you are. You didn't go see it. No, well, because I kept I get meaning to, and then I'm like, yeah, I'll see it this afternoon. It was tight as fuck. It was and it was already gone from theaters. I loved it. That was awesome, man. Yeah, it was pretty much after everyone here said, go God, see it. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go so see it. That was cool. yeah, gone. Yeah. Of course, but like, movies that hang on forever. Of course, now they're putting out all the Showa era Godzilla movies on the Criterion Collection. Mm. Blu ray. It is just. Including such gems. Godzilla's Revenge. Yeah, and Godzilla vs. Megalon. We're, we're doing really what about well. Son of Godzilla. Or Godzilla vs. <laughs> King Kong. Or King Kong. Oh, shit. I, oh, oh, oh. I probably should have around the My dad talks about way. that movie oh, like it was the shit. Around. And I'm like, Dad, I've seen it. It sucked. <laughs> well, I was like six years old. It was a local thing. station in Cedar Rapids would play it on Saturday afternoons. And I'm like, wow, this is so fucking cool. Sure. And as I got older, I would see the Godzilla movies and go, these are so bad. Stupid. Uh-huh. That's what I thought with Godzilla vs. King Kong. Yeah. I thought, oh, this is great. No, it's awesome. And as I get older, horrible, 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 horrible. All those kaiju monster movies are just god awful. And there's a guy on YouTube. But they're fun to watch. Oh, they're fun. I like to watch them when I'm doing something else. The only way they're like fun laundry to watch or something is the, uh, what's the giant, uh, flying turtle? Gamera. 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 The MST Gamera that's, movie. That's the one with the little kid who's annoying as yes. hell. He, Gamera! He will save us! Yeah. Oh, sorry. There's a 90s Gamera trilogy. Those are really good. Oh, like oh, his own movies? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, they did kind of like a reboot, kind of Godzilla went through in the 80s and 90s. And they also started out Butterick, which is weird. I'm really big in Japan. Somebody. Holy, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I'm I'm sensing I'm being messed with here. <laughs> Not Not reboot like the American Godzilla, but reboot like Japanese series kind of rebooted itself. Fuck, it's 35. Oh, I see. Because from like up through like the 70s, it was all like sequel, sequel, sequels. In the 90s, they're like, okay, now we're going back to the first movie and following it from there. It's like, well, shit, nobody's got the, the rights anymore. Let's just remake it. Yeah. Fan film. Godzilla on a boat. Okay, guys. One second. This off. We'll be right back. Okay. Hold on. I got liquor and I got coffee. Oh. It actually looks like it's really well done. done. Yeah, I'll see in the rear. Yeah. Okay. I don't judge you. Oh, we shit! Left society and your wife. That was cool. Oh, shit! God. The Warhammer universe is just an orgy of wealth and war. And yet, really depressing. Oh, that's what I love about it. It's, it's a bloated, gaudy thing that's just. Oh, horrible on the inside. It's so good. It's like a, like an emo kid that grew up but still wears the makeup and clothes. And now he's in his 50s yes. with no friends. And more piercings. Yeah. And, like and, he just, and he just bought a gun. Are you saying that's how depressing it is? I'm saying that's what the Warhammer universe is like. <laughs> Pretty dark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you guys uh, move up to the northernmost... I need a survival check. Did you from take the everybody or on? just certain people? just just from our tracker? <coughs> yeah, eight. Eight. Do you have advantage, Julie Bro? Uh, sorry. Uh, oh wait. Uh, yes. You, you do advantage. Oh, but what would what would your character's favorite terrain be? Uh, he's got the coast actually. Coast. Yeah. So it's just straight. Yeah. For this one, because the. Uh, yeah. Well, you, he is getting assistance. Just straight. Huh? You can. has got to be about Roll gender. more. Sixteen. Yeah. 16 yeah. total? <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone roll a d12. <coughs> That's a d12, right? That's a d12. I think we know what Tony got. That was me. Oh, we think we know what... What's his name, got? D12, Nine. you said? Yeah. 
This what? is an 11. Oh, God. Oh, shit. What are you shooting? That's because wait, if he, cause the more two, 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 yeah, you want the more clustered we are, the better in theory. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Kadic, uh, roll me a uh, perception check. It's the first time. I thought it was if he gets it, that's it. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, so it did, I'm here, also so the more sometimes I roll it, the better. Yes. Yeah, so sometimes I roll like a d4 with it, so then there's a quota. Um, yeah. Uh, so if we all roll the two, then it's higher chance he won't roll, he'll roll something else. Yeah. 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 But if I roll a two. Oh god. <laughs> then all the twos have to roll and get whatever yours yeah, was. Because yeah. that's how bad it is. Gotcha. 18. We're good. Times is good. 18. I like 18 this system. I think it's interesting. We still move on to a giant. As your, as your characters are traveling uh, through the grasslands and the hilllands, which are slowly starting to transition into swamp. Because as you start to travel north, the hills slowly start to get more and more marshy. Uh, you notice that the forest lands are getting farther and farther away. Uh, elves, known for their eyesight, their 20-20 vision. Uh, your character kind of looks off to your left, and for a moment, yeah, that was good. just a moment, you thought you saw a humanoid shape, yellow eyes. And you think you saw red fur with black stripes, and then it's gone. Did you happen to see In the, the trees... Guy? in the distance, watching you. But as you exit away from the forest, farther away. It's farther away. Is there like a, a boy trying to rescue a sinking white horse or a giant turtle that talks to itself somewhere? Uh, not yet, that's what you're on with you, don't you? <laughs> so this is, not in the swamp, but back in the trees. Back in the trees. Because as you're traveling along the swamp, the trees are in the distance. There's this big barrier of just trees as you're trying to travel around the forest. Oh, God, same here. What, what, and you just briefly out. saw someone in the distance. <laughs> in our shape, red fur, black stripes, yellow eyes. And then... It's a Fermi. Uh, our friends from last night are keeping track with us in the forest. Well, we're out of their territory. Maybe they'll just kind of, you know, fuck off. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. If we have to go back into the forest now, I think they will be. We're on day 35, right? We do, we'll yeah, go in the seven. daytime. Yep. Or at least stand a better chance. Because we woke up this morning and we're in the swamp now. So but let's avoid it. If we can, yes. Uh, great. Um, does it look... I don't know how to ask this, but like... Does this the kind of swamp that if we stayed still we start sinking? No. Okay. No. It's just swampy. You know what I mean. Right? It's, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a wet field. Check okay. The lightning sand. A large rats. There, yes. Okay. Not uh, quite bogged yet. But <laughs> he's getting there. So there you are think, some dry. Especially things. with his role, you think if you keep heading north, you're gonna start hitting swamp. Okay. So, so we're not like, so we're not like Everglades where we got water up to our waists, or well, for me up to my chest. Really. <laughs> no, but you're you're definitely starting to hit swamp land. So like Louisiana. Uh, yeah, you know, buy you, but we have to into the sand. Oh, yeah. Oh, Actually, okay. Yeah. Always. No, Mike, Mike, take concern, a dive through a trap. He stopped somewhere, and, like, so, let's say, awesome. just sit, yeah. and we're. <laughs> you think if it was like, if it had rained a lot, Gosh, maybe, maybe this area would get like okay. that? You think it's just been too dry too long. But you think if you keep going north, you're going to well, eventually start getting So that's out, that out of that character. Yeah, that was surprised. It harder mm-hmm. or easier to track someone. Uh, it would make, it depends if you have a ranger with proficiency in swamps. Yes. If you don't, then it is definitely harder. Okay, cool. Because eventually everything just disappears in the swamp. That's okay, that's what I thought. Cool! Swamp takes everything. Yeah. Say what? Okay, so if your characters head north. So someone should train the swamp? Oh, political humor. <laughs> I could tell because no one laughed. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that guy you gave it. me is helping. Boulder, you can't eat it. Yeah. Oh, some Boulder also keto. <laughs> Boulder. <laughs> Boulder's going keto. Okay, uh, so you continue to head north one more. Uh, go ahead and roll me a survival check. Uh, straight roll because it is starting to become real swamp. 25. 25. <sighs> Damn time difference. Is that a cat? Yeah, the kid is really stuff. 
Okay. Awesome trick. You missed. Story time. Stuff Much like how many all kicked you awake to say, why are you so bad at shooting? You kicked Corey awake and said, why are you a slut? Why can't you keep it in your pants? Yeah. <laughs> why are you a slut? At this point, you uh, have reached real swamp. You're starting to get... Uh, you're, you're starting to... Uh, well, I think if you stand too long, your boots start to sink into the mud. Uh, you're definitely, there's still grass, but it's really starting to get to them. Where are we and what are we going to You want one well, more. You want one more north. So you're about right here. Northeast or northwest? Northeast. Real northeast? Yeah, real northeast. Okay. And this is swamp. Uh, this is swamp, and you see the edge of a giant lake. Ooh. As you begin coasting along this area, traveling through it, you see a lake much farther uh, south, uh, sorry, uh, e- east of you. East and down, so like it's it's heading downwards into the swamp area, and as it does, you see a very large lake area with a lot of uh, trees uh, surrounding. Oh, I see. So a thick lake, uh, but there appears to be grass sticking out of it, <laughs> so you don't think it's overly deep, but it's definitely a lake. Mika, where is your village. Oh! Oh! Oh, we're at the Death Swamp. Okay, yeah, no, no, we totally gotta head northwest to here. We're definitely heading the right direction, but we gotta head more, pretty much directly northwest from here. This looks like the edge of the Death Swamp. Okay. We head north, that's probably the Hungry Pits. And I think northwest of here, near the edge of the swamp, because that looks like a corner, I'm going to guess probably is the northernmost of the territory of the Watchers. So we head northwest through those forests, uh, through those, I'm sorry, through those uh, very tall hills. Like you see, as you, as you look in the distance, San Diego style. To the hills. northwest. Or yeah. in San Francisco. Sit. Uh, San Francisco too, but San Diego is the same way. Whereas oh. giant, long, rolling hills. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hills that are maybe like 800 yards high. So these are tall, rolling hills with trees. He's like, uh, they, they stop at the hills. They don't like the, the high mountainous area. They like the flat kind of forest, the dense jungle the watchers do. So if we travel through those hills, I think we'll miss them. At least that's what I do, and I'm not dead yet. Well, I haven't got missing. Well, they haven't seen me for a while. Maybe I am missing to them. Oh, oh God, I'm missing to myself. <laughs> so they're not dead yet because of us. We'll go the way he indicated. And even then, only barely. Okay. Uh, this is your last text of the day. Roll me a survival check. So we're going into the hills. 25. Yes. Uh, you are heading northwest now. into the hills. What did you say? 25. Dear sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, I have two 19s on these last two rolls. Yes, okay. yeah, it's doing pretty good. Uh, let me see that is. He's really starting to get a feel for the swamp and hills and crap. What time is it? In that place that I was going to go. Just don't pull stuff. You're gonna try anything there. Okay. Uh, you guys camp for the night, I take it, or you travel through the night. You can travel a day and just garner a level of exhaustion if you want. <laughs> Now we rest. Okay, so you tr- you you rest in the. I guess yeah. Where this, are we resting? This isn't, if we this rest? isn't fields. That, sorry, this isn't trees so much. This isn't dense forest. There is forest, but it's mostly just very tall hills. Not quite mountains. Not quite hills. Not quite forests. Like a mix of all three. Oh, so like hinterland or yeah, yeah like yeah. Mongolia, but with trees. Yeah, yeah. find a cave. So a cave. Now let's roll. Anyway, uh, any altars nearby? You roll pretty good. You roll pretty good. You're just exiting the hungry land, so I'm gonna say everyone roll me a d8. Oh, hello there, everybody. D8, you said? Yeah, I started rolling dice because you guys can hear like what I'm rolling. And stuff like that. <laughs> you, you couldn't turn the sound off. Four. So. What was the fun in that? One, five, three, four, and five. Can the fives re-roll? Oh shit! Uh, Same thing. D eight. D eight. Six and a three. 
Looks in there. There. Give me a second. Well, I got it. I got it. I got it. Try it like that. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is a German slave. German slave? English. I'm zwei, try! This is a German slave. Yes. I'm zwei, try. Some way out of here. Go so the and then how does he go out? Do you mind if I die speaking kings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Then it's Hugo Stiglitz. See how good it seems to get Nazi balls. And that was Michael Feisbender too. Ah. Yeah. Full circle. He's in 300 also. Okay. That's crazy. To watch that again and see him. Yeah, that I still that and like Orlando Bloom oh, and Black Hawk Down. Even though it's brief. Oh, really? oh, yeah, wow, even yeah. though it's really brief. And you so roll your centos. Huh. Yeah. 59. Nice. Oh, you know, I shoot. So close. <laughs> Pro me percentiles one more time. Get the worst out, too. 90. Okay. Okay. You guys begin making camp for the night. How do you make camp? Where do you make camp? Uh, uh, imagine large rolling hills. So top of the hill, bottom of the hill, uh, uh, near, underneath some trees. I'll let, I'll let you guys pick. You get a pick. But how do you camp? What does it look like? That's important. Would you like to cast the hut the camp? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Let's camp alongside one of the hills there. Okay, um, partial cover. About halfway up. Any suggestions of what to make it look like? Or should I just try to blend it in? Yeah, the color of the Let grass. Best you Make can it. in Lagoon, we'll try to help camouflage it with survival. Is that a thing? Uh, yes, actually, rough you detail. could. Because it does have a solid outside. Yeah. Uh, roll me a survival check. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> no. Why is it isn't a roll it's to see how bad you do it? At the end of the day, you get one of my importance. 17. Oh, 17, okay, so uh, 23. Okay. 23. Uh, so you have this uh, kind of luscious, kind of like mocha green yeah, like, uh, shell on the outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and he's starting to throw a canopy to on top. He kind of almost makes it look like a <laughs> uh, Your characters begin to rest for the day. Who has the first watch? First watch. There's the second watch. Second watch. There's the third watch. Third watch. There's the last watch. Last watch. Okay. Oh, thank you for giving me a full night's sleep, guys. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, you know, you we get should, a double up with something. Yeah, we got double ups to do. You uh, double up with a point. Uh, you all have backups. Too. Is there a tree anywhere in the swamp? Like oh. maybe a weeping you're, willow or you're, something? You're out of the swamp. You're more in the hilllands. Hilllands, right. Is there any yeah. trees in the hilllands? Tons of trees. All right. I it's will, a mix of hill, large hills tr- and trees. I will set, uh, on your watch. set up in a nearby tree. Me? Why me? And that's all I'm going to spend in the night. Double and when it's my turn, I'll just be up there in the cannon for targets. <laughs> and just pester him with Jacob. And he's just <laughs> yeah. Finally, somebody's talking to me. A new friend. So, uh, <laughs> what you watch see that, Mr. Decatur? <laughs> yes, you got just thank all you. the watches? Or First what? watch. First no, watch. So, you're double up so first. pretty much you're doubling up with the captain. I'm doubling up with the captain, but I'm in a tree. And then when the watch is over, I'll just go to sleep. Are you wearing a tree? Fun in your tree. Like, anyway, Are you brooding up there? No, I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm not good in a fight. I've got to be up high and away from things. I'm just sniping. Uh, roll me a Constitution save. Yeah. It's not a comfortable place to sleep, so I gotta see if you get exhaustion. Ooh, that's a sixteen plus two, which is save. Con save. Yeah, con save. Twenty one. So I believe as a fighter, you're proficient. Yep. Plus five. Okay. Uh, you do not suffer a level of exhaustion. Sleeping in a tree is horrible. Not, not great, but I'm, I'm able to make like one yeah. of those orangutan yeah. beds. So just get a hammock. I just hook up in any tree. You know. a wee, a wee, a wee. Every time you shoot, you like swing awkwardly. <laughs> like as he's um, aiming for the next one, timing so with the swing. So <laughs> while everyone else begins to rest for the day, not fully asleep, but partially asleep, sleep is starting to take you for the night. I think that first couple hours, like you're in a weird, dreamy state. Uh, the sun, you, you've all eaten, uh, the sun is beginning to set. As the be- sun begins to set, 
your character resting in your orangutan-like hammock, yep. uh, possibly <laughs> in a, uh, a a this this tree is more like an oak tree, less like a palm tree. The palm trees are more close to the swamp and the coast. The the strong oak, the the real trees are in the forest that you guys are starting to go into. Okay. Um, your character, uh, as you begin to rest, you notice a bunch of pterodactyls flying in the distance. It's, it's actually kind of beautiful, like the sun's beginning to set, and you see these very large pterodactyls just flying in the distance. Nowhere near you guys, but close by. As you begin to see them, you're just kind of noticing them in the distance, just kind of like keeping your eye on them in case they fly a little too close. <coughs> you know, or maybe done, and it's great. a mile. Two miles out, you're guessing they're closer to the swamplands. They're, they're probably hunting along there, looking for things in like the more harsh hill lands, looking for small creatures and trees. You guys have been like dodging them for days, <laughs> hiding behind hills, trying to avoid them in general and scare them off if they get too close. They're like vultures. I got a hang out. Game stick. It'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, eventually, though, something bigger is starting to fly in their heads. Something about five times the size of a plesiosaur. You see an explosion of flame come from its mouth. It grasps two of them in their claws and begins to fly. As it flies, it flies over the head of you. You see a giant red worm flying over the top of you guys. Literal I'm... shit falls out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's on! Ah! Uh, ah! <laughs> you hear a roar as it, as it rips the head off a plesiosaur. The head, as it rips it off... Gore is spraying everywhere over the canopy, but because you had such good canopy, it has no way to see you. The dead head of the plesiosaur flies maybe 200 yards away, smashing to the ground about the size of a man as it begins to fly off. Two creatures in its claws as it begins to glide off in the distance and head slowly northeast. We're heading northwest, right? Yeah, yes, we, we are. are. The real question is how the plesiosaurus learned to fly. Yes. <laughs> so you're the plesiosaurus pterodactyl. <laughs> you're yeah, looking yeah. like a goddamn zoologist in here. <laughs> you mean, I'm, yeah. I'm both an Aryan and a veteran, but I'm not a veterinarian. <laughs> Do you mean paleontologist? God damn you and your English degree. <laughs> Woohoo! How dare you Look at that. I used it twice today. Oh, oh, oh. Now it's paying off. Once at work, once here, bam! It's so Quick. worth the four years and fifty thousand dollars of debt. Shh, 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 shh. Not on camera. But outside of that, I, the night what goes those by. Are not. <laughs> if you go and you check the head of the police, the soldier it's there. It has oh. been ripped clean for free. Sorry, the please the pterodactyl. <laughs> pterodactyl's head is about the size of a man. Like it's it's like a long, was big wild body. swamp, and it took its head and then took the pterodactyls and came over. <laughs> this is a very complicated ecosystem. It actually is. They have the names of these things there. But damn, uh, you have no idea. That's definitely a dragon. Like I don't have to like say like, oh, I wonder what that is. You guys know where the fuck a dragon is. That uh, never heard of. Since that's, you chose worm first, though, my first thought was like Falcor? the fucking. That word, oh, like, right, flying right, right, over. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind no, of it was, it was definitely a dragon. Yes. You guys have, uh, especially those, uh, your character's familiar with dragons, and you are because of Rokugan. Uh, you are because of Sea Hall is by Rokugan, which is the dra- which is a dragon empire. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're, they're dangerous. They are very dangerous. Like armies fight them mm-hmm. if they can. And there's one here. Well, so bad news, guys. <laughs> there are dragons here. You, you do hear crying from up in the tree. <laughs> um, uh, Trace four. So let's Plus. stay low. <laughs> He's nearby. <laughs> uh, the night passes by. No I real issues. Uh, you continue to talk with uh, your uh, your companion. You become more attached. You learn more about their society a little bit. More of a bartering system. They do have money. They know what money is. They actually have books. Uh, they've been able to collect them over the years from like sunken ships, adventurers, uh, the world of tribesmen. Uh, they have a shaman. You know that much. They do have their equivalent of clerics, but it's more of like a true way to face magic. Uh, they do have a faith, but the faith is more in like nature, like fire, wind, water, earth. 
Ask him about the jewel. <laughs> Wait, did you say fire, water, air, earth? Fire, water, wind, earth. Oh no, heart. I said heart. Oh, get killed. Captain! They talk about Gullacy a lot. About what? Gullacy. Uh, the great earth spirit of the world. Mm. Uh, actually, roll a religion check. Does your character have religion? Yeah, I believe so. Ooh. Do you have religion? Yeah, plus okay. one. All right, he's yeah. a paladin, wouldn't he? Nine. Trained? No. Okay, so oh, not trained. I have a turtle? Nine. I have barred religion. Uh, I'll give you a roll with disadvantage. Okay. You were hearing in the distance, you were paying too much attention. No. Actually, no. no. I'm sorry, you don't get a roll. You don't know what they were saying. Oh, is this a during your watch? They're they're talking in their, their language. Oh, yeah, that, no, it's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, you've never heard of this before. And, you know, since you're from Seahawk, that makes sense that you've never heard of the burning of religions. So your character's just like, fire, wind, water, earth. It's like weird. You're able to get that it's like tribalistic. They worship the idea of fire, like courage. Mm-hmm. The idea of wind, freedom. That kind of thing. So, so ask about the uh, heart of the Hydra. Heart of the Hydra? He has no idea. Big gem. Temple. Yeah. Says he sees random ruins every once in a while, but he doesn't know if, if they're temples or not. They don't really go in them too often. Normally, they're inhabited by something ancient, something evil, mm. forbidden areas. He says that the shaman might know, because the shaman is the lore keeper of the forbidden areas. But okay. none of the phantoms are allowed to go. They're literally just forbidden by the religion. They know it is death to go to those places. Okay. What about that metal tower we uh, talked about the other day? Oh, he hung out around it, but he didn't go in. He couldn't figure out a way in. No. Oh. And he said he was mostly just going up there to try to trade with the uh, Manuri. Who are the Manuri? Uh, he says that the tribal people to the north. They live on top of the giant canyon past the rope bridge. Rope bridge? Yes, the giant canyon is nearly impossible to climb, except unless you know where the rope bridge is. There's a giant rope bridge built by people he never heard of. Uh, huge rope bridge, pretty much entire trees tied together with thick iron chains that goes about 10 miles up into a huge uh, king, uh, huge, uh, you know, like on, in Australia where there's this giant, what is it called, a plateau? Mm-hmm. Oh, a Arizona? giant, yeah, yeah, like pretty much like that, like a giant flat plateau. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With trees on top of it. So cool. Double nearly, star. Yeah, nearly oh, unclimbable. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Unless you find the rope bridge. The guy actually parachuted on top of this tower. He says it's weird. Someone like, like you, humans. This is like there. a while ago. By a lake. Oh, yeah. That's still that's cool. Oh, took forever for him to get down. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see it someday. <laughs> I bet it would. Yeah, if you want to live, yes. He says he can take you there for the right price. This car is down. Do this stuff for money? Oh, we kill off those uh, spiders. Does anybody have just out of character? Does anybody have speak with animals? Uh, if they're snakes, yes. Technically, anybody. Parts of some animals. Okay. I can comprehend languages. So I and can yeah, Tony's right. I can I talk can to you. Does that count? Yeah. Barks and growls and yowls. No, no there's an actual spell for that. Uh, what would be? Would that be under like features and traits? Uh, it, it, I, you don't have the racial for that. No, I, uh, you'd have to be a thanks. gnome. Thanks. The forest gnome has the ability to... Why does it to... always have to be about race with you? Because we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, and they literally are separate races. You told me this would be fun. And it has been, <laughs> but... Sure. By the way, did we have you controlling Broken your own I don't think so. Okay. Mm-hmm. He didn't bring anybody with him. All right. Okay. So, uh, the night passes by. It is It is now dawn. Uh, by the way, are you guys using rations? What are you guys cooking? Who's doing what? Yeah, How, are you guys doing doing I assume, doing I assume we're in the flesh of the undead. No or rations. Rations. It's been works. like a good like seven days. You guys yeah. are traveling. We need to hunt. Yeah. I mean, we had that horse we wrangled up. That was a few days ago. By now. Do you guys want to spend a day hunting to make up for your rations? Uh, first, I need, want to get away from where we saw the dragon. Yeah, are we 
Before we even do that, I just want to ask Isn't there, like, a nice, perfectly fine pterodactyl body just laying there? Pterodactyl head. Yeah, you can eat the head. I just want to know, are we in, like, a particular time-sensitive hurry? No. Okay. Then I, then I no. have no objection. To I'm keeping going. track of time for various reasons. I know, I know you are, but I thought like, oh, this, like, you know, this we have to get the heart of the Hydra back within. We could take the heart of the driver, Hydra back in like 20 years, and technically we'd still fit the reward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's pretty much like a if you could We're do still it. Still at level five for some guys. Like, no one's okay. been able to do this in, in hundreds of years. Then I'm I'm perfectly fine with hunting and taking our time getting there. I'd rather survive and get there than almost die. And so you guys want to hunt? Yeah. I, I'm fine with hunting. How do you guys hunt? Oh, ooh. A gun has survival? It's a bow? Well, I assume it'll be a die roll, but I want some kind of description. How do you guys uh, hunt? You have to be like professional hunters. Like, we're di- we're, it's, it's the fucking Dungeons and the Dragons. I'm down for whatever you guys want to do. I just set the forest Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll take a hunt. What do you do to contribute yeah. to hunting? Uh, I can cast I have invisibility. You cast invisibility. <laughs> Okay. Help you useful. sneak up on any animals, maybe? Trey, what do you do to help with hunting? I will utilize my stealth and survival to go out into the wilderness and, and not for like a deer. Are those trained skills? Yes. Okay. You can. What do you do, Miss mm-hmm. Maladendo? I will use my longbow instead of a rifle. Okay, I was going to say, I don't think I have another weapon. Um, hold on. You can't okay. use the mangoes to hunt. The what is the point of playing? Um, I have, I, I don't, I mean, you know what I'll do is I'll, I'll go with, who else is going out? I'll just follow Rutherford, and what I'll do is, like, if he kills anything, I'll use my dagger or my rapier to, like, skin it and prepare, like, what I can So you can help eyes. post hunting. Yeah. Like, what oh, skill or would you use? I think that would be, I, I do have bard nature, but. Do you have nature as a skill? It's a barred one. Um, I know. Um, it's like a half assist. It's fine. I do. Uh, you know what? I might try. It gives you a roll, but you always have. To I know. I know. Time. That's why. But I it's it's a good skill because you get the roll. That's the only one I can think of that would really be handy. But yeah, nature. Just like I can be like, as I'm skinning, I'd be like, yeah, we probably shouldn't use this cut. We could probably use this, or like, yeah, he shot that, but it's too ruined to use. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's why you used to date a boy in a butcher shop. You get it. Oh, one of them. Jesus. And then his father. All right, yeah, Mr. So Kennedy. Let me tell you about that summer. Mr. Clinton. Mr. Clinton. Mr. Reagan. Mr. Reagan, how do you hunt? Mr. Bush. You're just moving up a president every time a character dies. <laughs> <laughs> you be a saxophone playing bard before this thing is done. He's like the doctor. He's reached Kennedy. That shows how many times he's died. Oh, he only has so many regenerations yet. Don't let him die again. He'll be at the bushes. I bet you he'll be at the Trumps. I'm going to kill myself with the Trumps. Imagine for the next three Trumps. The last ability will get you. Ugh, entering in taste. Uh, Don't unless I can intimidate or persuade it. it. Russia might make that happen. Yeah, it'll happen. Okay, so maybe you're keeping uh, you're keeping guard at the camp. It's sure. Will help it to happen. With my plus one oh. way. Ugh. Perception. It's fine. So far, you've seen lots of things. Just not anything I needed to see. I mean, not nearly as much as you haven't seen, but you don't know that. It's like trying to prove a negative. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll me a survival check with advantage, because you have help. You're invisible. Give somebody help you. Uh, this. twenty. Natural on the first one. Yeah, roll me again. I'm curious how good it is. Uh, nineteen total. Nice. Uh, yes, you are able to eventually down what appears to be a dire elk. It is lots of meat. Lots of meat. You can find a giant berry bush. Too. Uh, you can spend the rest of the day uh, trying to dry the meats uh, with uh, her uh, nature check to help you out. You're able to successfully dry them out, and you guys are able to get somebody roll me 2d12. Go ahead. I got a 9 and a 1. 9 and a 1. You guys have an extra 10 days of rations to spread amongst you. 
so that would be an extra. Uh, I will say it will get the group uh, one d four more days of rest. So your rations are filled up, and you have enough rations for two more days. So for the next three days, well, two days after this one, you can feed yourself. So I'm happy to hunt again. I quite call you Arby's. Mm-mm, mm-mm. We got all but it's we got the meat. Definitely a paleo diet. It is <clears throat> definitely keto. It is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of meat. I like this. That's a lot of meat. Where's the beef? There's the beef. Oh, so, so we have a lot of giant meat, beef. Say. Giant beef sti- uh, strips. You're basically drying a lot of giant beef. Strips. I'll take a big sausage. Snap into a slim jim. Sweet. Yeah. I have not <laughs> I have and not occasionally a beret to keep off the uh, please, the please let me, let's have that be a thing. <laughs> Eat eleven, like ever. Just keeps your mind a little bit. <laughs> Going too far. <laughs> okay, so uh, your characters rest for a day. Uh, who is taking what watch? And I need everyone to roll a d12 so you take a full I've, day. So who wants to take? Who wants to double up this time? I'll double up on second watch. On other than that, I'll rest for the rest. I'm gonna take the last watch today. I'll take first. I'll take third. And I'm doubling up with how many are there? Four. Four watches. So are you taking the fourth, the, fourth, uh, the second watch then? Sure. I'll, you and me. I'll just double up with Rutherford and then I'll. Otherwise, I'll just sleep for the rest of the night. D12, you said. Yep. D12. Everybody. Yep. Oh, 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 one could be interesting. Oh, it's not a one. A D12? <laughs> yeah. D12. Remember the dragon? There's something bigger. You guys, Nine. A please Because sword. of that, I rolled like perception at like a disadvantage. And I was like, okay, dragon does not fucking see you guys. <laughs> uh, Rutherford, what did you get? I got a nine. Two, one, nine. One, one. Mm-hmm. Oh, one, one. I rolled an eight, nine, nine, so... Nine. Nothing Eight, happens. One, nine, one, six. Six. The night passes by Three. without issue. Uh, you do occasionally see dinosaurs in the distance. You do see a raptor pack that hangs out in the brush near you guys. <gasps> Rutherford like shoots a shot at him. I won't say you expend a shot. That's fine. But thematically, yeah. you like shoot something off and you scare them, off. <clears throat> and they go running, and the raptor pack disappears. You do see a lot of raptors in this area. Small hunters, carnivores, scavengers. Okay, so we're not talking like Utah raptors. We're talking like actual velociraptors. <laughs> actual yeah. velociraptors. That's, we're actually you, playing. you are in fucking Jurassic Park right now. No, we're not, because velociraptors in real life are that big. Yeah, these are D and D velociraptors. They so, are the size of men. So bigger. Than Utah this. raptor. Taller these are like the movie raptors. Utah raptor. Yes. Yeah. Basically. Dinobot, basically. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, bad day for us. What was the name of that Transformers, but they were animals? Beast Wars. Ah, that was good. That was a good show. Beast Wars. Please, like and subscribe to the Doobly Doo. Yes. Beast Wars, you're out there. We know it. Yeah, you were a show at one point. Not Beast Machines, though. No, don't. don't yeah. Fuck Beast Machines. Yeah. Don't, don't. Fuck you, Beast Machines. Stop saying the name, it'll come back. You, you are both everything cool back. about Beast Wars. Okay. Uh, nec- okay, it is the next day. Uh, you guys have two days worth of rations before you start having to munch on your own again. Right, so we're on day 36. Oh, like a tiny gun shot. Yeah, it was. Okay, day 36. Uh, I need a survival check from you again, sir. Of the month of... 19. 19. Uh, you, you, you move, uh, northeast. Dalach. We're in spring. You mean northwest? Northwest. Northwest, I apologize. Away from the dragon, please. After yeah. that we'll dragon, we'll take her down. Uh, go ahead and roll no, me no, a, another no. survival check. No. Uh, apologize for making you roll a lot. Of so, okay, so 20 Northwest. total. 20 total. Uh, you can move two squares. You are now into dense forest. So we went northwest from the hills to what? Uh, you went west twice. Directly west. Direct. So two squares west. Two Straight squares. west? Straight west. Uh, this mm-hmm. way. Okay, and they're both forest? They're both forest, uh, dense forest. You were so, in the jungle. Again? There gotta be some way out of here! 
Okay, you can stop. Zip a choker to the sea. Who sings that? Bob Bob I don't know, but we should let him keep singing it. Okay, you think if you had northwest, I've used that on it. Might get that. Damn it! Uh, roll me a survival check. This one's a four. Fourteen. Fourteen, good enough. You guys said northwest, by the way. To what? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, northwest. That's what you said. Uh, I'm about to describe it. It is thick jungle, by the way. But there is a landmark there you might want to record. Uh, I have to go grab it. It is Area 10. Almost Area 51. <gasps> Get your Naruto thing ready. <laughs> All right, fine. If we have my Shireen gun on you. <clears throat> okay, uh, it is nighttime. As you begin to get close, uh, uh, what, what's the what's the name of the NPC I made? I wrote him down. I just Mika. 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 Uh, Mika begins to get more excited. He starts pointing out things like little sticks with uh, with uh, with uh, little bits of fur on them or feathers, things in trees. He's like, oh oh, those are markings of my village. It means we're getting close. We're getting very close to my people. We're almost there. Now when we get there, let me introduce you. I might scare them. Very skittish. We don't like outsiders. We get hunted a lot. We have, of course, the arena. There are like beasts that try to hunt us. We're very edible. The spiders. They're also very plentiful. Oh my. Yes. As you begin to get closer, he begins to point in the trees north of you. In the trees to the north of you, uh, you see large platforms. Uh, have you guys ever seen uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves? It's Kevin Costner. Y- yes. yes. Yeah. Remember the tree village that existed? Unfortunately. I was thinking of the one from Avatar? <clears throat> the Return or of Hook. Jedi. Oh, Hook. Uh, oh, oh, I like how we all... Uh, uh, very similar to Hook as well. Uh, you see tree platforms. Right, you see little works. huts. Made uh, like the into the gym. trees. Oh. Uh, you see smokestacks. Wow. Uh, there appears to be like uh, yeah, that was your foot. I'm sorry. Maybe <laughs> 40, long 50, a hundred different like trees that have been built in like these giant platforms yeah. that have been built out from it. Each one building into the next. Like it's I almost like a mini. Down. It's almost like a small town. But it, considering their size, it's almost probably like a city worth of these creatures. Because hmm. uh, they're much smaller. Like, tons of these, like, a single house would hold, like, like 20 of these guys. Uh, as you begin to get closer, though, you hear noises in the distance. I need everyone to roll me a perception check. I will allow you to know what it is. Hmm. Who, got a le- who got at least a 10? Raise your hand. <laughs> Those who got a 10 hear raw, raw, raw in the distance. Who got at least a 14? You hear screaming. Paka, paka, tuta, tuta, paka, paka. Sounds like people. Who got an 18? You hear the death throes of someone being eaten. And with your perception, natural form. You see what appears to be a pterodactyl diving in amongst the trees, carrying off something with a very long tail and a phantom-like body, oh, crap. screaming its death throes. It appears to be a group of pterodactyls are attacking the phantom encampment. I need everyone to clear the board. Oh, well, oh yeah. Let's, do Let's kill us some bird things. Please do so. Yes, the flying the plesiosaurus. <laughs> Going through. Fuck you, I'm not a zoologist. <laughs> wait, wait, what's that? Are it's the paleontologist. Hey, I'm not a pedophilist. Paleontologist. Just a we never said you were a No-color zoologist. <laughs> I don't follow no religion. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm a pacifist. You're a thing to maybe suck on. No, dude, that's a pedophile. <laughs> 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 pacifier. Oh, I was way off. 
<laughs> oh, red oh, versus goodness. blue. I've yes, been doing yeah. it wrong all these Very years. Nice. Dun, dun, it's like a chipa thingy. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's yeah, right. You're the main us. hero. We're gonna get throw us. you for rain. That's exactly. I don't get you at all. <laughs> and Simba retrieves the car to confetti. The boys. Simba so named Pib after. And Scar. I know. I, know. I love it. Um, That's why I love his. So what he's gonna have him do is uh, take these, put these in squares of four, and put them all over the place. Like, oh yes, this guy. Like, hey, you're joining the game now. Okay. Well, I guess that's. It was Simmons, and then it became that. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have a Facebook, so I made it that. And then Neil eventually learned what my name was. Yeah, I know. I, I it's, it's was um, terrifying. That Silence! I can learn this. Simmons! <laughs> I, it took, honestly, when I learned we were, it. And during the first few Pathfinder sessions, yeah, I was like, oh, he's Simon. Simon. Simon, Simon, Simon. His character name, whatever it was, Simon, Simon, Simon. Zalika, Simon, Zalika, Simon. Who the hell is Tom? <laughs> <laughs> I just was working so hard on remembering Simon, and I was like, who the Cast me that joke about, you know, Simon. <laughs> Shoot the thing. And that just stuck in my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought this is wearing a hat. That's why I drew your guy with a hat. Ranger dude. Hmm? Isn't that your guy, your fair ranger? I don't know, probably. Close enough. Yeah, we need one for the... Do we have a thing for... Me cab? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what is that yeah. supposed to be? I love that you have a bag of dinosaurs for this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> best store. Best ten bucks I ever spent. Entire Jurassic World of Jurassic Park. I was uh, humming the theme to the never-ending story at work, and nobody got it. No one. I don't want to live on this planet You should anymore. show up to work the next day with a gun. <laughs> right? Just do mankind. Turn around. Have you seen Stranger Things at all? I know that there is a scene because I can't escape it. Nope. Okay. Oh, on Facebook. Okay, good. Good. Okay, go ahead and move that a little bit. Closer. I don't. Yeah, I just. Yeah. Try to move this. I, right I think of you. I think of you talking about our time. That's what I think. It's a cool name. Oh, it is. It's like robotic, but then you're like, oh, yeah, it's the name of the horse from Neverending Story. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Horse Hex! I don't like that movie. I don't don't think anyone really does. It's fine. There there are people that apparently hate the Jews. I've heard that one, too. (laughs) It's okay. Oh, God. Yeah, Hitler. Please, Internet, don't kill us yet. We have some good ones. Okay, so. Because oh, they come just open. Yeah. No, they're not. We'll kill us. We'll just hit the wrong audience. <laughs> Our demographic shifts all the time. <laughs> Why are a lot of people from Alabama watching this channel? God damn it! <laughs> Liberal neo Nazis? What the fuck? Where are these self proclaimed proud boys suddenly following us? Oath Keepers? What? Oh my god. Yeah, keep saying yes. Go. Oh, we can't get up there. The ladder fell down. Nope. Yep. All right. That, the way is shut. <laughs> Tony set up a dungeon that we can't get into. <laughs> Again. Just to be that way. Again. <laughs> Wasn't there one that we just couldn't get into? <clears throat> no. That was that the rock shots maze. What's that? Like, we just couldn't go. There was one that we had the bitch of a time just getting into it. I thought that was the Rakshasa thing under the house. It's incredibly possible it's just that Krieger kept fucking up his rolls <laughs> to pick the lock. That might have been, that might have been, yeah. But yes, a, I think so. That's a distinct possibility, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Turn around! Wrong song. Tyrannosaurus. Look at what you see. And pterodons. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Oh, you're one that doesn't have obs, uh, obtuse legs. Pterodactyl! You bow like a motherfucker! Yes. No, it goes Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Saber Tooth Tiger. Tyrannosaurus. Okay. Green dragon slash white tiger, but nobody likes them. 
You can. <laughs> that was that was beautiful. Yo. That was just beautiful. And then I need a bunch of and markers. No, <laughs> Fuck the green green. Okay, uh, for thematic sake, I will say that there is a bunch of phantoms on these upper platforms. With the phantoms on the upper platforms, for every round it takes, there's phantoms that could potentially be eaten or carried off by pterodactyls. Oh, uh, right. Uh, good news is you have arrived in time to try to save some people. Bad news is, first bad news is, the pterodactyls are eating them and carrying them off. There is a swarm of them, maybe 15 pterodactyls. You, can, you think if you kill a couple of them and chase them off, you might be able to get to them. Second bad news, you got to climb up there. There are only two ways to climb up there, and those are over these ropes, so you have to climb up them. Uh, as you get up to them, there is a 100-foot fall if you fail. A hundred feet to climb up. A hundred yeah. feet to climb up, and that could be fatal yeah. if you if you fuck it up. Uh, second bad news: there are two T Rexes that are waiting at the bottom, catching phantoms in their mouth as they fall below. Do it just in case, I'm gonna start banding. Catch and release. The T Rexes, of course, are unable to climb the ropes, but they are in your way. Uh, this this platform here is raised up a hundred feet. Right? Oh, the T-Rexes are below it, waiting near the bottom. Just behind these like massive trees, just kind of walking around, waiting for any phantoms to like climb down, where they climb down the underbrush for safety. Um, You're guessing that creatures sometimes hide out underneath here, waiting for dinner. Are you going to have the out-of-character, out-of-story, are you going to have the, all three pterodactyls go on the same initiative? Uh, no, I'm going to have to go on different initiatives, and I'll have Each? to roll attacks. Each uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. I'll just change just changes which colors they get. That's all. Yeah, no problem. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. That's why I felt like I should ask. Who is my initiative master? Johnny? So I have oh, Tom. Did you last time? I, I have Trey. Oh, I have Trey. Oh, I have. I have. Uh, I have uh, Corey. Oh, good. I now have, I get my name back. Uh, Johnny. That's right, Kenny. I have Neil. Saturday, it was uh, Colby, it was Cody, it was Corey, it was different Shut cheeses. Shut up, Samantha! No, it's Samantha. <laughs> I want Different it. cheeses? <laughs> yeah, because uh, someone said, because we said Colby, so then we had to do cheese puns. It was not Gouda. Hey, hey, what the fuck, hey! Okay, I'm going to switch to the battle camera eventually. Okay, once I, I mean, apologize for the definitiveness on the map. I mean, I could make it look prettier. <laughs> I, I'm surprised you didn't go out and buy an Ewok village from 1986. Oh, dude, I was fucking tempted. Don't, don't even kid me. I was fucking tempted. Seriously. You're reading my, yes. You're reading Get out of my, my brain. brain. So we have Because that would have been fucking awesome. That I know. I looked at them. They're expensive because of the fucking collector. Purple. Yeah. Uh, Unless you get one that's completely trash. I mean, they're all trash, but even the trash ones are <coughs> green and white. Do the T Rexes go on the same initiative? Uh, yes. That's why they're the same color. That's me. Do I have. Okay, so I have green, blue, purple, and red, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, good. I wonder if, I wonder if like, I'm sure my mom's stored it somewhere, but we have that one for kids. It's gotta be somewhere in the basement. Can you grab the uh, flight things over there? Oh, I can. Just over there. I would appreciate it. Uh, take that and put that over there. Put this in the other corner of that. Put this in the middle. No, no, I meant the other corner of that one. Oh, this one. Yeah. I'm trying to make it look populated a little bit. I will grab my monster wrangler. Do you want like okay. you wanna throw in like one or two trees? Uh no, because this is much, much higher up. Oh okay. Do we need three of those? Yeah. It's getting kinda of crowded on the table. Mm -hmm. No, you're good. That how do we Oh like, yes, because each one is a pterodactyl. Okay. <laughs> if you could put that one on a pterodactyl, I appreciate it. Who needs a laser pointer? Um Is it you? Is it you? I'm just pointing at your head. Okay. Alright. We, we need his retina. He needs more drawings. Actually, though, if you went blind and still able to draw, ah, there might be something to do. There's mine. Does anybody just, need one? Uh, I don't, because I can kind of move. Trey, do you need one? I don't think you'll be able to reach a fake. No. I'll be, I can be fake regular, too. 
Lose one XP. No. Wait a full minute after Neil <laughs> gains a level. Gaining a level? Give the turret yes. cancer. <laughs> Make a wish got in contact with us. <laughs> uh, do you have figs for your NPCs? And Pika! See, there's a halfling in there extra. Except for me cop. We don't have one this? for me cop. Why don't I have one for me cop? Actually, actually, I was looking for one for me cop the, the other field. day. I actually that's, have a monkey man. Dwarf uh, cleric. Oh. Who's this? I have a monkey uh, man. Lagoon, okay. probably. Okay, then that's me. That's. So we that's need me cop. We need a monkey person. Squirrel monkey person. Oh, fuck me. Where's this little monkey person I have? I, I have a little squirrel monkey person. person. Just use this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, show us this real form yet. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> What's your final form? You don't see my final Is form! Pokemon? <laughs> His at last evolution. No, it's more of a Digimon. They're only temporary transformations. Oh, nice. And those might get random Gatling guns or cyborg parts in the process. Oh, so now they are one. not. Uh, I, I I will emphasize these are not uh, goblins. Take your word on it. But I am going to use goblin figs for them. Okay. They're basically okay. goblins. So uh, go ahead and sprinkle these guys amongst the village, and we will remove them as they die. The goal is to save as many as you can, except for this guy. <coughs> B Cob, uh, I'm gonna say is. B Cob S Su Cob. B Cob S Su Cob. You know what? It's, uh, it's yeah, this that's, guy. That's dad joke. This guy level. looks fun. This guy looks uh, like a fun one. I was gonna say, you could use the same trick we used for me. I know, I'm dispersed as far as up in the trees or down in the ground. That looks, looks horrifying. Does it? Oh no, it's kind of a gnome. It's kind of like a gnome weird thing. I don't know. It's like a... Yeah, just go ahead and just disperse them. I don't know then, yeah. In that case, I say they're all on the ground, away from the pterodactyls. No, I'm gonna eat my T-Rexes, you say. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Choose the form of your destroyer. I just popped in there. I couldn't help it. Uh, Age of the Phantom. Uh, they are being attacked by... What the fuck are these things? Uh, Saber Tresiosaurus. <laughs> you know, airborne, see with little airborne wings, a lot in the air would be fun. He'll, he'll run these incorrectly, but it would be correct for plesiosaurus. Yes. Let's see, they have a swim speed of 90. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it, they're in the air now! They can fly. Oh, I didn't play. You just have a flying speed. You got tiny ah, There's water in the air and I can fly. So you're fan Oh. He has a flying speed of 20. Actually, well... Uh, 15. He has a flying speed of half his movement. He can't fly very far very fast, but he can fly. It's like a light gliding, if that makes sense. Yeah. Falling style. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he only uses it to fly through buildings. And... Oh, I'm going to put this up for a minute. I am going to put the maps up for a minute. Uh, I am going to move to go from, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons Beyond, and I'm going to pull up some stuff. Uh, let me move over to the battle camera. Neil, you are my my camera master. It's always a little bit back from what it is. Uh, battle cam. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm staring at the anus of that tri uh, that Triceratops, though. <laughs> but uh, you generally got it. Can you move the Triceratops? Or use. Move that mother. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we the plesiosaur. Come on, okay. get it right. You guys can run under this. It gets a hundred feet in the air. The platform is, and the the only way up is appears to be the ramparts, unless you guys have some other way to travel. I don't know what magic spells you guys prepared for today. Anyway, uh, uh, let's start with initiative. Uh, I'm gonna roll for various things. So, uh, if you guys have your initiative ready, right? yes, I got mine now. T Rexes. Oh, sweet. First, yep. 19. Oh, Second, what? 20. Third, oh. uh, pterodactyl. Oh, I can, I, do I usually run Oh, yeah, I can do it, I'm sorry. I'm going to say, if you want me to take a No, I'll do it, I can do it, I'm sorry, Johnny. I'm sorry. That you saying Johnny can't handle it? No, he can't. Yeah. 
I just, I just that's, was like, that's wait a rude, man. Oh, uh, by the way, there's 19. one T Rex, not two T Rex. Oh, okay, that's okay. better. Mine was oh, oh, seven. Oh, that's, yeah, all right. Fuck blue, white, green, white. Don't get him in a shit out of here. Um, what was your initial trade? Five. Okay, and then what was your initial, Johnny? Nineteen. What's your dex new? Oh yeah. Uh, thirteen. No. Can't get any cover for me. Really? Yeah. Okay. Damn. And then let us do. Do you have the initiatives for all the NPCs ready? Really? Uh, oh, I, I kind of. I gotta look at their. Uh, What's wrong with green white? He's not there. Oh, not there yet. Or not there. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Wait. No, no, no. no. Okay, they're they're, they're literally actually... a counter for death. You're right. See, I, I have more than you. Uh, this is a. I think you were like a 17 dex or something. I'm going to you have to move every single figure right now. You just knew. I just did. You like that? Johnny, no, you go before him. And then Neil switches spots. I said I go first. Oh, it's PT. What the fuck am I just saying? PT pterodactyl? <clears throat> Might have to kill the T Rex first so it doesn't stop eat us as we attempt to climb up. And then also it would prevent if these chappies need to climb down. Yeah. So people with missile weapons take out the pterodactyls. The pterodactyls. People with melee weapons. Really? It's in the beyond, but they yeah. can't find it here. Go on. Really? I'm looking at it on DB Beyond. It's called a uh, pit. Pterodactyl. It's a dare, it's a pterodactyl. The yep. is silent. You got it. That's right. Yeah, here, yeah. But I'm, I'm just kind of com- confused because in D and D Beyond, in the Encounter Builder, it won't pull it up. <laughs> but when I fucking go and look up the uh, the the monster online, it's it's fucking there. And go with online. I'm going with I'm going with the well it links to D and D Beyond online. Wait, I'm looking at the creature. Weird. Yeah. Do you need to be on? Please link and subscribe to Doobly Doo and get your shit together. America. Anyway, uh, there are one, two, three of those. So three of those and one T Rex. This is a deadly encounter, by the way. Uh, so let's go. Uh, first initiative is the uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex has a initiative of plus zero twenty. Okay, What's his what? Dex? Zero. Okay, right, what is I'm this? First. The Tyrannosaurus T-Rex, Rex. Yes. Tyrannosaurus Rex rolled a natural twenty. Oh, natural twenty. Okay, everybody yeah. knows about me. Oh fuck! The fucking Plesiosaurus has a seventeen. Has a twenty-one. The what now? The He's just gonna call it. The pterodactyl is, is a plesiosaur. Can we write the it on the thing? Fuck you, pterodactyl. <laughs> pterodactyl. Oh, why doesn't that one have a uh, have a have a thing? Can you put it on this one? Oh, do I have to, which one yeah, I want them all to be uh, in an I can't spell. position so I can see. I cannot spell to save my life. Um, uh, there should so be three of them. One, yeah, the <clears> yeah go ahead and move it over there. It doesn't matter where they are, they're going to eat people. Um, which pterodactyl just got that? Out. Which one did you just roll for, Tony? Which pterodactyl? Uh, that would be the one to my left. So the blue one? The blue one has a 21 initiative with a four dex. Okay. Uh, the next one has a uh, 15 initiative. Which one is that? Uh, that would be this one up Perform. front, up here. How many was that? It has a 15 initiative. Those are four decks. So they're right. flying creatures, so they got fast. And the last one has a seven initiative with a four deck. Right before Trey. Okay. Is there a boss that I need to put on? Uh, don't worry about the boss. The boss is pretty much the T Rex. Okay. So Derek's goes before. Goes <coughs> what? His okay. natural 20 saved us before that one. Yeah, because natural oh. 20 beat my dirty. Oh, so, uh, even it notices you, odd it waits. Okay. Uh, fuck me. Are, are, yeah, we're just over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what does it do? Does this look Two good tacks, to everybody? One bite and one with his tail. Does this look good to everybody? Nothing crazy? Yeah. Yep. That looks strong to everybody. Uh, the T-Rex is going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, I'm going to roll to see what attacks. Uh, 5, 10, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Okay, uh, do you have a companion near you? Who? Do you have a companion with your character? Yeah. Where are you at in the initiative? Right there. So... Pick up. Okay, uh... Uh, it's going to move 5, 10, 
You get just within here, which is within range. You see a T-Rex turn around. Its head swoops around. A phantom in its mouth. It pulls its head up. It swallows the phantom. It swallows it. It goes down its throat. It's probably not entirely dead. You feel it pro- you, you hear it feeling like it's fighting as it's going down the T-Rex's esophagus. It stares at you. Beady red eyes. Short arms. Claws extended. He goes, And it charges at you as it does. Boom, boom, boom. The earth begins to shudder beneath your feet. As this gigantic creature, four or five times your size, charges at you as it does. It comes in and it makes a bite attack. It looks hungry. You are in ever present. Mm. Uh, Red is the bite. And white is the tail. Okay, uh, what is your AC? 22. 22. Let's see if it hits. I honestly do not know what its attack is. Tyrannosaurus Rex weapon attack. Uh, The bite hits. The tail misses. As it comes down with a bite, your shield getting in the way, but its mouth is really, really big. It's able to clash with your shield, but not penetrate, since it has a... I'm gonna roll a damage. Oh, the damage is now. Ah, sweet baby Jesus. Johnny's got it. <laughs> Ten points to your wrist by thirty one damage. Oh, fuck! Wait, that's with that's, that's over with, a half. That's biting your shield? That's with a bite. On the shield though? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it doesn't bite. Once again, it's the it, so. thing with like hit points is it's marking off your heroic points. It hasn't done damage. Because oh. a bite from a T Rex would thematically kill somebody. That's true. Yeah. But it's more like it a. Nicks my it's, arm. It's, it's definitely crashed into your shield. And because your shield saved your life, it, it, it bounced off the side of its mouth. But it, 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 it shakes your arm, the size of the force, the size of the body. Just Holy shit. Scary from this, what is called a. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> as Marisha uh, Red would call it. Well, fuck. All right. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is done. Who wants to go next? Who's on next? The pterodactyl. Mission? Green. Fuck me. Uh, they're not attacking you guys. That's attacking like Plesiosaur. Blue. Yeah, the Plesiosaur. They're, yeah. They're successful. The pterodactyl named Plesiosaur. And the Plesiosaur okay. named Pterodactyl. Uh, remove one Phanton. Uh, okay. Yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's successfully on its turn. Uh, go ahead and hand it to me if you want. Sorry, with a sad look in your eye. It's only good when the when the, when the strippers cry. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I like. That anyway, the uh, shaman. that one's dead. Four kids. Four kids. Single mom. Working really hard. To all make all the more kids were blind. The menu. All kids were blind and tone deaf, and now they're blind tone deaf orphans. Move okay, up. uh next initiative is Tom! Tom, this Two motherfucking T-Rex is fucking up your power. Yeah, okay, so I am going to use my Oh uh oh also when you go on your turn after your char- main character is done, your right your, your sub characters can go. Uh so I'm gonna run up uh, use my hexblades curse on the T-Rex. Okay, T-Rex, hexblades curse away. I'm gonna run up and we're gonna attack him with my great sword. Swing him with your great sword. Uh, 15 plus 8, 23. Uh, that, that, that is one successful hit on, okay. the, on the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next one, 16 plus 8, 24. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Is hit. Again. Uh, what you are have, the flying things you called? You have tons of fun with that. I love that. Mm-hmm. What are the flying things called? Oh, shit. Uh, they're called... I can't. It doesn't have a voice. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. Tom, That's why I'm asking. Pterodactyl T-Rex. Or Fetrotacle. It looks like a fucking like P T E R O D A C T Y L. So the That looks like a medicine. You fit taco. So, here, do it like this. Terra Dac Tall. Terra Dac Tall. Yeah, that one too. You did miss right, Twenty eight to the T Rex. Twenty eight to the T Rex. That is definitely you carve into its side, but it's really thick. Like, you cut through flesh, but there's still more flesh behind the flesh. 
very thick scales. I'm going to use my reaction to have you attack it. If your sword's on. It's not, okay. it's not on. Okay, well, not yet. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, anyway. yeah, so we'll wait on that. And then Lagoon is going to mark it and attack it. Uh, can Hunter's Mark as a bonus action? And it can make one attack at a plus six. Uh, 22 to hit. 22, that's the third hit. The T-Rex has an AC of 13. Okay. And that will T-Rex, AC 13? AC 13. 1d8 plus... Okay. Have I missed anyone else's damage? No. No, no one else has been hit. This is a second attack yeah. on it. If I can get the D8 out. Alright, D8 plus D6. So, oh shit, 13 and then plus the 4. So 17. Damn. 17 is so one good. blow from maxing out. <laughs> a very good arrow sticks into the side of like the shoulder beat. Where's the nav borrow calculator set up? Let me see my oh, I don't flip that. Thank you. Yeah, you can Lawrence. borrow the calculator if you're good. You said 18, okay. right? Yeah. 17 plus 28? Okay. Yeah, 45 total. Nice. 45 total. Starting to hurt. Good arrow, good cut into his side. You haven't seen any meat. He isn't bleeding yet, but you definitely are attacking something that's very big, very dangerous. You've never seen one of these before. T-Rex, like I'm saying T-Rex, but your character's like yeah. big fucking bi-legged like monster. It's a dragon that can't fly. Yeah, it's like a non-flying dragon. Like a small non-flying dragon. Got those dragons where the front legs turn into wings. It's just shriveled up. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next in initiative is the uh, Johnny. The yes. Johnny. He had his deck strong. He, uh, well. he gave the modifier his... I mean, Neo, you could take 16. his decks. You could take his initiative True. at any point. That's your call. You can be anywhere in the initiative if you choose. Wait, so can he switch with me now and just miss his turn? Yes. <laughs> you know what? Can it. <laughs> Damn it. I'll let it continue. This turn. So, is the T Rex. Excuse me. Cat, cat hair. Or something like that. T Rex is pretty big. Was that in character? Oh, oh yeah. It's so, fucking yeah. huge. So, if I were to cast a fireball on it, 20 foot radius, that would. Basically hit the T-Rex. Uh, you you, could, down you there. could try to do it. Uh, I would have you make an Arcana check to try to miss your, your friends. To get the right height. But still be able to damage it without giving an advantage to the save. Okay. Arcana. It's so Arcana check. I will say, are you proficient? I am. I hope so. It is a proficient is check. Wizard? It's a DC Our master Arcana. So, yeah, I... I <laughs> Roll nope, a 19. So. Oh, yeah. Plus okay. whatever so I can make it. Uh, you can do a fireball without, uh, without fireball. Some of your friends. Okay, you do Actually, I'm going to take my necklace of fireballs. What? Which has three beads on it. And you check them all at it all for three? a five fifth level fireball spell. Fifth level fireball, that oh, is eight, nine, 10d6 damage. Uh, I have to roll a def- uh, uh, a reflex save, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, I think yes, it is. T-Rex is known for their dexterity. Oh, you, oh you, you maneuverable little bitch. Roll your damage. That's 10d6. Did you just light the T-Rex on fire? I sure fucking hope so. That's 5, 6, 10, 16, plus... 16 plus... 16, 16 and counting. 16 candles. 8 plus... 28 plus... I'm adding them. 36 total. Oh, 36... Oh, I'm sorry. I was. I thought I was adding... Oh, uh, yeah. No, no. Here's... Uh, 30, total, it, total, it, total, it takes total. all of it. 31 damage. As you do, fire explodes around the T-Rex's head as it rears back from Neil's character. It hits Neil's character and rears <laughs> his head back, smiling, looking at its next <laughs> deal. And all of a sudden, a, a, a small little Child. speck of fire shoots out from... Uh, uh, the Cadix hands as it does it goes into the T-Rex's mouth and explodes burning the tongue and the top of the it's mouth it, it almost looks like it's down. breathing fire as it you screams be able to take the <laughs> thing. Uh, maybe I'll leave now because nothing will taste right <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely that was a spicy meatball uh, it, is, it, is, it is definitely uh, it is just bloody right now it is 160 hit points Oof. yeah not fucking around. All right. T Rexes are uh, big guys. 160. And, uh, 160. But easy to hit. 
there. I will also move. Do you have any NPCs you want to move there? Uh, start moving that wait, way. Let me look at where you are. Where, where are you? He's I'm this one right there. Okay. You where you move? Uh, How many? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Yeah, just like right about there. So right here? Yeah. Roll me a quick uh, Five, investigation check. 10, 15. Investigation. Yeah. Uh, perception, actually. That's 15 it's combat. feet. Okay. Before you move. <laughs> Calculator has an It's a uh, total of 20. You know if you move, you <laughs> provoke an attack of opportunity. <clears throat> okay, then I don't. It is a big creature and has a very large reach. So then... And its vision is based on movement. Yes, it is. yes, 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 yes. Vision based on movement. Well, my another character, Grimblest, who is right there next to me. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna do. Fuck. He's not gonna do much, but he's, he's gonna, gonna do fuck. Something. Where is Corey's character? <laughs> right in front of him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I get you. Bend over, and brace yourself. <clears throat> I do that every game. And then I start playing. Hey, we I haven't played B, B Team in a while, okay? Uh, Bleed yeah. Team? B, B Team. team. Oh. It's a team where everything goes wrong. Okay. Grimblast is just going <coughs> to pop off the firebolts. That, that, that is this yeah. team. Firebolt. Uh, yeah, you have 1d20 add to hit. It's a d20. I didn't damage. need to live anyway. <laughs> nope, that's not going to hit. What is? What do you think is not going to hit? I rolled a six. A six is twelve. Yeah. So oh yeah, team. misses by one. Damn it. Do you use all your portents? You have new portents. I don't know if I should. I mean, for a firebolt, I don't know if I should roll oh, just to probably not a firebolt. From yeah. Back. Okay. Yeah, you might want to save the well, like a save. Yeah. Uh, or a uh, what, what, what is his full name? Uh, it's Midland Gloomblast. Midland Gloomblast misses the. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next to the initiative is... I got two Mr. Good Smoot. Points, uh, I'm looking forward to when we fight the flying things. Because someone's going to have to say it. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway, Mr. I'm almost dead. Yeah, that hurt. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to cast uh, Shield of Faith. Shield of Faith, bonus action, two more DIC. It's concentration spell. Mm -hmm. Every time you get hit, you have to roll. Yep. Um... I activate my sword. I've already done a reaction. Fuck, you already done a bonus action. Yeah. Unless you want to take that back. Nope. Okay. I need the AC. Okay. You still, it's still a magical sword. I'm just going to attack. Well, as I say in boss, it's a magical sword. Swan. It's my sword. So that one's going to hit. Your Schwartz is very powerful. Yeah, that's that Schwartz is as big as mine. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if you want to smite. Head. What do you want to do? Oh, hell yeah, I'm smiting. Yes, what smoke. level? Smoot to smite. Uh, hang on. And when he's First done, level would add 2d8, second level would add 3d8. That's the second level. Okay, uh, burn a second level spell, and you can roll pretty much 4d8 damage. Oh, 4d8. Yeah, because 1d8 for the sword, then 3d8 for the smite. It doesn't have your resistances against damage, I'll let you know. It's a T-Rex, it's a beast. Plus it will be 27 Base, damage. 27 damage. damage. Go ahead and write that down. That is a solid oh, wait, hit. Wait. You are starting to see me as you're cutting. Trying to be helpful, piece. that's all. <laughs> Only your first hit hit? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that was a four. Oh, yeah, that happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, that's your bonus action. That's your action. You say everything has to do now. I'm going to have to depend on you now. Right. And, and you have a companion character, I believe. Hang on. So if I move so that we're flanking. Uh, yes, you can move to flank and you will not provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay. Did you want to do that before you attacked? It wouldn't make any difference. You would have been able to reroll that four. You get advantage when you flank. True. Did you want to do that? Sure. I'll allow it. Your character would now. I roll a six. Six plus what? What's your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your bonus attack? Oh, no, it's, it's plus six to hit. Okay, so it's missed by one. It didn't make any difference, but you are now flanking. Okay. Do you want to do anything else with your retainers? You have two of them, I believe. I okay. do. Uh, so, 
Middling Groom, bro. Uh, sorry, um, Grimrun. Grimrun Folk. So and, hang on here. Uh, Mikap. Mikap. Mikap! Don't get eaten, Mikap! Yeah. He's just a chicken nugget. Uh, he has a right. boss ability, I believe. Yeah, he is going to. He's your nugget me. boy. So he moves up to touch you. No, it doesn't need to. It's within 30 Dang. feet. Oh, it's a ranged heal. Okay. Uh, I believe that's what? 1d8 plus is plus 4? 1d8 plus 3. 1d8 plus 3. Oh, right, because it's core modifiers. That, that should be this group. So, eight. Eight. You go back 8 mm-hmm. hit points. It's at 5 times a day. <laughs> Very epic. <laughs> That'd be a lot of healing. You're saying Reigns of Africa wasn't? Maybe when it reaches like 20th level. I'm sorry. Okay. It's just uh, Africa. Helps. Okay. Wow. So this one's yeah. just called Africa. I, I I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just going to leave. Uh, I believe no. he's got like just, an eagle attack. Or just if I'm out there body. crying, just ignore it. Just let me have well, it. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, this is the hawk strike. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what does that say? <clears throat> hawk appears and attacks the eyes of the creature within 60 feet. The target must make a dex saving throw or take 1d4 slashing damage and be blinded for the end of the next turn. What is the DC on the dex saving throw? You tell me. Oh, it's always 14. So oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's, sorry, it's always 14. No matter what level they are. Okay. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Does not make its dex saving throw. Oh, shit. It is blinded until the end of its next turn. It takes 2d4 damage, which means all attacks against it have advantage, and its attacks generally is have disadvantage. 2 times 1d4. Oh, sorry. It does uh, 1d4, uh, 1d4 slashing damage. 2 is the average. You can always choose to take the no. average instead of roll. So the T Rex is. So, like, if you want to really speed up combat and just, like, fucking yeah. take the average. It takes 2 points damage. Two. It doesn't do much, but he's blinded until the end of his next turn. Mm-hmm. As a. Mikab shakes his stick. As he shakes his stick, a spectral hawk flies out of the air, made of light, and smashes into the eyes of the T Rex. The eyes, is, the, the, T, the eyes of the T Rex go white for a moment. It it raises its hands, still breathing fire a little bit from the fireballs. So this happens once. It goes Wah! screaming wildly, trying to smell around, but unsuccessful because of the smell so its nose. And that's it. Okay. okay. You just blown your load. Who's next? Corey. Alrighty. <laughs> Corey, what are you doing? Don't get eaten. I am. Th- I've been thinking. That's dangerous. <laughs> so we're trying to get her to give that up. <laughs> um, oh, no, she has no problem doing that. So down on the ground, can we run under these platforms? Yes. Yes. yes this yes. is. Uh, all the platforms are hundred feet in the air. Okay. Climbing takes your climb speed and a climb check. But what about the big puppet trees on trees? Yeah, those, those, those are 100 feet in the air. So okay. everything that is above you guys is 100 feet in the air. I'm afraid of... I'm the only way up appears, appears to be these unless you, you have, you have like the ability to fly or well, climb you don't the, the, supernaturally. The zone. This thing is yeah. obstructing us on the ground. It's Nothing is obstructing. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's cleaned out so that they can move. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move 20 feet like this. Does that provoke? Uh, you're staying within its attack radius. As long as you stay within the attack radius, okay, good. you're fine. But as soon as you leave the attack radius, that's what provokes All right. fire. And I'm going to run up to Smooth and do Cure Wounds. Okay. I think it's uh, yeah. 2d8 uh, plus 4. 2d8 plus 4. Remember, you oh. can re-roll all ones yeah. because you are a doctor. Yep. And it's already it's good, so that is nineteen. Yeah. There we go. Remember to add your uh, charisma modifier. Yeah, that? that's a plus okay. four. Yeah, okay. it does that for me. Good. It tells me add plus four. Oh, okay, good. I'm good. sorry. Yeah. Uh, some of the ones like uh, like the light player can Woo. just give you the passive like plus two and stuff, yeah. and it's confusing. I really wish they'd fix that, but they haven't. Yet. Well, because like the the paladin one does, and I and I didn't think this one did, so I'm glad it does. Yeah. Um. And so, I'm okay. At Fifty-six out of six. So I'm okay. Oh, you're good. Okay, good. Yeah. Hopefully um, he doesn't hit you twice. Yeah. That was my move. I'm looking at this guy's damage. Hopefully he doesn't hit you twice. Okay. That tail is like 3D tail. Oh, Jesus. I moved. I did a spell. Oh, T-Rex is fucking hit like a tank. He's, He's a hit. A, they are that's, uh, fucking, that's all I think I'm I Like a troll. Just bottles of hit points. That's it. I got it. That's you have any red? Yeah, I'm more like a hill troll. Uh, still. Bonus so actions? Yeah. Uh, I have... Now that damage is dangerous. 
Uh, this isn't like, I don't think that'd be that kind of fight. Uh, that's it. I'm going to call it. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, the pterodactyls, the other two go. Uh, let's Just see the one. Let, uh, red and purple. Red and purple. There's two of them. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, let's see if they spot and kill any phantom people. Hmm. Uh, that one to the north does not. The one to the south does not. Only one phantom is currently eaten. The rest of them are kind of hiding, ducking, dodging, 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 or dodging. Duck, dive, duck, dip, dodge, dip, duck, dive, dodge. There we go. There we go. They got the five fundamentals going. Yeah. Dodge All right. Dick. Dodge twice. If you dodge can dodge a dick. wrench, you can dodge, dodge a turn. Speaking of that, <laughs> trade. Patches of hula. <laughs> no, a hole in his head. Patches of hula hat. I what do you do? That. I love that name. Shoot him in the dick. Patches of hula hat. <laughs> 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 That's the name of his character, isn't it? Who's? The in dodgeball, oh the guy, the guy who recently passed away, Riptorn, who he played Patches of Hulan in the movie Dodgeball with Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn. Ben Stiller, please link and subscribe in the, the doobly doo. Doo. In the doobly doo. Or you, Vince Vaughn, would I be paying um, attention? I, uh, to uh, we still have a T Rex attention? on the field. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I pull out bad news. I take a knee. I burn a grip point to get advantage on the roll. I like the faith you have in yourself. That optimism. <laughs> Never lose it. <laughs> okay, so uh, 16 hits. Oh, yeah. nice! It sure does. Blow its, Boom. Blow um, its damn eyes out. 2d12. You just have to do... Oh, never mind. That's like 50-something like damage. Yeah, yeah. 50 yeah. damage, exactly. Well, Plus one, how to... Because bad news got some boom boom. Ooh. So it got that boom boom, boom pow. Wow, you are really clean yeah. those. Yeah. Isn't there a fragmentation area to that rifle? Huh? When that thing goes off, doesn't it shrapnel? It has an explosive um, on everything within five feet of it. That's all of us. Yeah. <laughs> this will uh, be fun. Bring it on. You can pass the deck save. That's fine. Uh, bad um, news. Well, I, I guess you're shooting at the head. The thing's like yeah. 10 feet. Yeah. It's it's over 10 feet taller than you are. This thing is about uh, a good 15 to 20 right, feet so tall. That's, so okay. it's much taller than you. Nine damage. Okay. And then it needs to make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw. Dexterity. T-Rex is known for it. 19. Oh, yeah. That's a solid three. Eight. Or nine. Or yeah, eight damage. Okay. It, it failed? Okay, cool. And it takes another... Five fire damage. This thing only has 160 hit points. You're getting close. One, two, three. You should seriously just let me do the damage without the math. I think we'd kill this thing. (laughs) (laughs) You just my bad math. I think we killed this thing in the first two shots. Corey, how'd you get to a thousand? I fired once, but then I have to reload because it's a single shot. Weapon. I, I have to pull out another weapon. You haven't even moved yet. I was gonna say I have the thing that lets me do a reload as a bonus action. Yeah, yeah, but he, he, he has one that allows me to do his attack action, which technically for fire and higher levels is better. I'm gonna go ahead and burn action surge. Reload and then fire again. I'll burn my other grit. Oh, we got two for advantage on the roll. Ooh, advantage you say? Go for it. Uh, yeah, 18 plus 6. I hit. That's, it, AC is 13 on this guy. Lock him up! Burn! Ooh, 15, 16 damage. Make another deck saving throw. Ah! Damn! He makes it, I'm sorry. It's like 16, 16 damage. more damage. Ooh. Unless somebody wants to make him fail, this portent. Yeah, yeah. I, I only got good portents this time around, not bad ones. No. no. <laughs> See, that's the only advantage of a bad portent is like, fuck your Right, side. yeah, now would be a perfect time to... <laughs> or if you want to fuck the party, fuck you! <laughs> He's yeah. talking bad shit! I don't know how you failed that so. save. I dodge out of the way, and it hits Corey. Don't yeah. mitigate this. He's just, oh, the NPCs are doing amazing! <laughs> So you're so, saying uh, never piss Johnny off. So that's me, uh, whoever's next. Uh, uh, dinosaurs again. Blue dinosaurs. pterodactyl. Tyrannosaurus first. Alright, he's going in to swoop. Blue is. Uh, blue sword. is the one that's back here. I guess that'd be like that guy over there. Yes. Alright, this guy's gonna see if he can get something to eat. 
The drive through is closed. He's going to have to go back to the buffet later. Ah! Uh, uh, next to the initiative before is the, the goddamn T Rex. Before the T Rex goes, try to kill it. Woo! Command Smoot ah! to attack Yes! It. As Smoot uses bonus action to ignite his, ignite his sword. Or is he just turned it off? Armor? I thought you didn't turn it off. You left it on. No, no, no. no. Didn't turn it on. no that was a while ago. Oh, like a day ago. I thought he did it. So okay. his, his sword is still not on. You're right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you yeah, can make him attack. Go. It's fine. Go for okay. it. Mr. Smoot. You attack. You have to use your re- your your reflex. Reaction. You do it, but you're going to get your reaction back. So. And I'm smiting. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking smite. Okay, what level smite? Uh, I'm going to burn a... <laughs> on the T-Rex, you don't even need to second level second. smite. Second level smite? Yeah. That's one, you two, two three, 48 times two, and then you add three. 21 damage. You know, I should do a first level. 21 damage, come on. Choose now before first. you roll your dice. That's 3d8. You can handle that. That's it? Uh-oh. Multiply by two times two. Three. 25 points of damage. Yeah, it's dead. That's good. Damn. How do you, how does this look? What does this look like as you as you as you kill this Tyrannosaurus Rex? Well, its head's flopping around because it's still blind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no shot. fucking idea. You had advantage, yep. but yeah. And it's been shot in the face twice. Yeah. And burned in its mouth. Yeah. I just take one of its legs off. And Ooh. Boom! Falls down, starts wailing around, Ooh. screaming as it's getting yeah. slowly. Yeah. Like, like literally, yeah. blood starts spraying it starts as it falls out. down. It's falling down that way. I want you to roll a reflex save as massive amounts of blood just starts spraying out of this T-Rex. <laughs> you know that scene in The Shining when the doors of the uh, elevator open? It's not like that, but close. It's like Dracula doesn't love it. There's so go. much Blood! He just ate! <laughs> you know that scene in Blade when he turns on the fire sprinkler and the blood You're comes fine. out? You, you dodge out of the way. It's there's not like that. There's I blood do. just rocketing out of this thing. After about five or six spurts, it just stops moving. It's like random blood. That. It's spurting out. Okay. It is a massive pool of blood. Nice. But good call, Captain. All right. <laughs> it's dead. Uh, next in the initiative Reform is to duties honorably. Tom. <laughs> Tom, this thing is dead. Like it's a, it, you're you're staring at its carcass. It stopped moving at this point. Okay. Um, so to get up top, he said it's ninety or it's hundred feet. It's hundred feet up. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start climbing the vines then. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. It'll take you thirty to get there. You can declare another move to try to climb 15 feet more up unless you have double move on clock. Yeah, no, I don't have double, but we will do my extra move to try. Okay, uh, uh, the first 15 feet don't take you anything. How long okay. is the ladder? It's uh, 100. 100. Oh. It's not a ladder, it's like a rope. I just put a ladder there. Oh, damn. It's 100 feet up. Okay. That, the first 15 feet, you're fine. I'll give it to you. Okay. But it's after that that it's sustained climbing. That's when I'm going to start making climbing checks for every round it takes. Damn. The DC will increase as every round it takes because it gets harder to climb the longer you have to climb. Because you're getting tired and all that? Yeah. Yeah. So stay climbing. Unless you have a climb speed, in which case it's always a consistent low DC. Does anyone have that potion? Um, yeah, that's right. Well, some person should have a There's a, somebody has a potion of climbing, climbing, but I don't know who took it. All right. Um, range. I code for 50 to 600 feet. Uh, so, is the goon able to just shoot a pterodactyl from the ground? It's 150 slash 600 feet. I'm not sure what the slash 600 is. Uh, the 600 would be like disadvantage, so 150. Uh, he can make an attack with disadvantage if he would like. He can move his Hunter's Mark 2 as a bonus action. Yeah, so he'll move one and he'll... Well, uh, no, Hunter's Mark is with anyone within 90. They're well outside. Okay, that. that's fine. So he can make a shot. It's a disadvantage to shoot. Right. And he'll Hunter's Mark it anyway. And try again. Okay, he can't hunter's mark it, but he can shoot. Oh, right. The, it's actual, not within, the actual range is in that. Okay, the I actual range within hunter's mark is 90 to okay. mark them, and then after that, it's like... Okay, it's so yeah, it'll take a shot at miles. it. Uh, 19 was the low roll on the die. So, Holy 25. Fuck. Yeah, 20 and a 19. <laughs> Damn. Uh, with this advantage, he nails it. Uh, go ahead and roll a D8. Oh. I will give it difficulty on its two plus two. four, so six. Six damage. Uh, the pterodactyl takes six Which damage. One? Which pterodactyl? Which one? Uh, are blue. Blue takes six. Whatever one is six. Yeah, the top one there. Okay. Next time blue makes an attack, I'll give him uh, a negative. Okay. And I'll help a higher DC. 
And yes. Now try to move more center. He'll come so this way if if you this is a thirty, yeah, yeah. yeah so move him thirty four. Platforms are a hundred feet up, right? Yes. Right, so then I should count the pterodactyl's height at a hundred, then whatever. Yeah, uh, they're so more like a hundred and forty. Yeah, so hundred five. Okay, okay, so forty. Gotcha. Yeah. Bam! Do you have Blu-ray? Because they're just they're in yeah. there in the tr- above the trees, and they just they're like they're, they're kind of looking around as they find something, and they swoop down and try to attack. They have to see it first, and then they swoop down the attack. So it's spot check, a, attack action. I, I see no downside of the uh, Next in the initiative is Johnny. Well, yeah, yep, yep. Uh, not so far, one Phantom is dead. Oh, I'll give one of you a ride up if you're next to me. Uh, uh, what skill you carry is me up? I, will uh, tell, I can teleport one person out with me next turn, which is what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, do that, because I want to try to... Oh, is that the, you uh, be one of that's these a three? Step, nope, it? Thunder Step. Oh, that can do it for 90. 90. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then I can, oh, just remember. Can, can you, you hit them at this them? range like, without climbing, or are you still too low? I'd have invited one person with me as I'm starting up the road. I know, but what I know. would you have done? Right. You have, uh, you have basically uh, ten uh, words. Ten words to explain what you're saying. Uh, two hundred foot range. I thought so. I thought so. Just a Pardon me, sir. I was. One exactly. of you get close for a quick ride up. Max yes. range of eight hundred feet. Okay. But Take me, Captain. <laughs> oh. But I can still make. Choose me, hit. Captain yeah. Son. What is that, Captain Chan? Can't choose me, Captain Chan. <laughs> So, yeah. Captain, Captain Senpai! Captain, Captain Senpai, choose me! <laughs> Captain Captain. Witness me! Captain Senpai? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I move. Oh my god, that'd be great. You can, you can double move up there. <laughs> Captain, Captain Senpai. Captain Senpai. You could be just behind the captain since you were kind of five feet behind him. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll do that and get there behind him. Okay. Uh, you, are, you are climbing up the rope. You are just behind the captain. Within five feet. Yeah. And... Or I'm gonna use my. I don't know. I won't, I won't use my. You dragon have a bonus sprint. action left. I do. That's just my dragon sprint, which I don't use for now because it's not gonna be. Not dragon. But you can light enough. up your captain if you want. I mean, that's your call. you can light up his world. Blaze him. I will leave you here. <laughs> Go up alone. I mean, it's only a fifteen foot range. You'll still it's teleport. Still and fuck the sky. Even if they swoop, that'd be the only time. Teleport with a five feet for him. That's, behind so that's my move. So then. Uh, Grimbalus. Hey, oh, I guess not going to be much use. Hey, Down where he's at. He will. You lost. Give me an investigation check with this event. Uh, from he's where not, he is. Yeah, he's a really cute. Uh, see here, it's not. On his cart here. So, so that means a play. straight roll disadvantage. Maybe got you. Oh, 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 DC it's is proficient. So it's a DC 10. That's and they're just using them as like it. He misses. He doesn't see anything unusual. He can get that to do whatever he wants. Dog's just like Copeland. That's a cute uh, image. I never knew I wanted to see. Right. Uh, he's going to. Uh, so fire. So firebolt has a range of 120 feet. It's just out of range. Because okay. they're at 140 ish. Yeah, they're at 140. Uh, okay, he's going to do a double move. Which, okay. They try to get as close over here as possible. This guy. Yeah. So, so he's trying to get to the closer to the second platform. There's another one where he, that he right here. At. You want him? That's like over. That's here. the other ladder. Is that the oh, girl we're going for? Where are you going? No, no, no. I'm just I'm just getting him close enough to here so then, on his next turn, he can hold his action to cast a firebolt the next time a pterodactyl. Oh, the swoop stamp because then it'll be within. So okay. Do you want him to end his turn? No, 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 movement that's fine. There. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. We're, okay. I just I'm right. just making sure. Yes. How, how far is he? He has moves, sixty feet of movement. Yeah, if he was here, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and is this a new square? Yeah, it's yeah. 35, 40, 45, 40, 45 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 60. 60. So that's about as far as you can get. Yeah. So 60, okay. So yeah. I wasn't too far. Uh, okay. okay, next in the initiative, I uh, believe, unless you have a third guy, I and know. it's going to be Neil. Neil and crew. Mm. Neil, he's got guys for dates. Mm. Roll me uh, perception with disadvantage. Twelve. With disadvantage? Yeah. Inside the T Rex's belly, they're squirming. 
But the character that realizes out. that there was a phantom that had got swallowed whole. Cut him open. It's going to be full round and action. I thought this okay. meant bad on the outside. Full round action. Uh, roll me a attack like roll. And Not really. You, wait, do you have medicine? <laughs> Back up. <laughs> that guy or do you money. have some kind of skinning to Wait, it? I still want my money. Oh, put it back up! <laughs> if you don't, it's disadvantage. God damn it, this I wallet's got... not here. How about persuasion? Okay, roll a triple disadvantage. Are you, are you No, doing... just roll with disadvantage then, that's fine. That's a yeah. Can I add what to it? Yeah. It's just a normal attack. Oh. I Is he flanking the corpse? Thirteen. Thirteen is enough. Uh, you're able to cut him open and miss the phantom. As you do, a small phantom character kind of spills out. And it's just like... Ugh, ugh, ugh. It's like spitting out like this green and like orange goo. It's like... It's kind of like crying out like... Oh! Oh, mother! Mother, where are you? Mother! I've seen hell! And it looks like an ugly human. Yeah. <laughs> Neil, the one person who can understand yeah. him perfectly. You yeah. saved a phantom. Next to the initiative is... Ah, uh, Neil's other characters. Hang on. You have yeah. a bonus action left if you want. Ignite the sword. The sword is on fire. The phantom shits itself as a free action. <laughs> As a, as a human with an on fire sword is called I'm here to help. I am the god of hell. Fire. The fuse, like and I bring you. Fire. Fire. It's good though. Actually, roll me pers- uh, 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 persuasion with disadvantage because of the flaming sword. I don't want to watch that now. But you get the persuasion because you do so speak good. the language. So it'd be eleven. Dark. Eleven's good enough. Dark. It calms down. It's not <laughs> hey, never turned evil in real life. I want to turn Timothy himself, but he is definitely scared of you. But he's yes, like, he knows my language, and he has an other thing for your time to do, which is not hostile to him. Okay. So it's a good step. <laughs> I'm a special. So... Look me up. <laughs> what the price is? Is the phantom of the belly injured? Oh my god. Uh, uh, yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Crush him. So the healer's going to do a minor heal on him. Uh, the phantom heals one health level, one health health box. <laughs> the phantom is now back to fully healed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, part permanently got yes. heartburn. Yes, because they have two health levels. And then. Hey, he's got a. Uh, you got your spirit. phantom on. Yeah, he can do a ranged weapon attack up to 150. Uh, yes. Uh, does it say like 90, then 150 or whatever? It says 150 slash 600. He has 150. He's got a long range bow. Uh, that little, that little, uh, that little staff that he has can throw out little energy bolts okay. that look like flying eagles and smash into things. How about a 23? 23. Well, what the fuck does he want to hit? Uh, let's do purple. Purple? He can nail purple. <laughs> but it's one Sorry. Eight. Sorry. They didn't say scarlet. Sorry. Six points of damage on purple. That's a six, six points of damage. damage. Yeah. <coughs> Good, our followers. Look at that. Impressive. Perfect. Six and six. All right. We're doing great. Uh, all right, you're only a lot there. Anyway, uh, next on your ship is... Tore. Hello. Oh, um, God, I'm going to hurt the fucking thing when we get it. Everything, that, damn it. Oh, no, it's where we were. Sons of this! Okay, um... Uh, I'm... God, this sucks. Nuts. Um... I'm going to guess... I'm going to try to run to the rope as well. So okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What is the speed of a halfling? What? What's the speed of a halfling? Is Mine is 30? 25. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, Let me yeah, go yeah. back one. Because the thing I want to do, I need 120 range, and I don't have it. Sorry. You move 25. What do you do next? Uh, ooh, as a bonus action, I will bardically inspire the captain. Captain, right. 1d10 to your inspired. next whatever 1d8 one one roll. Or 1d8. One one okay. One use in the next 10 minutes or something like that? Uh, yeah, last yeah. 10 minutes. Yep. And I'll do that by playing my bagpipes. Okay. Bagpipes explode out of nothing. 
Oh my god, something else is dying. <laughs> it sounds like under God out of here. You're scaring the phantoms. Good. Good. They'll learn their This will be going on for the next 15 minutes, and then we'll get to the vocals. Hey, the plesiosaurs <laughs> hate the What about the drum solo? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> 27 <laughs> minutes <laughs> in. <laughs> uh, next initiative is... The uh, Red Pterodactyl. And then the red Pterodactyl. Was Red Pterodactyl hit? Yes. Nope. No, no, no. Yeah, I've listened to that song with the full... Oh, yeah. It drags on. Yes, it does. Fuck, he doesn't spot shit. Good. Uh, purple is at a slightly higher DC. Yeah. No other phantoms are getting eaten. They're definitely searching, though. They're, they're like, diving, but these phantoms are fucking nimble as shit. They're doing great. Little monkey raccoon people. Very quick. Very nimble. It's almost as if this happens a lot. Uh, next to the initiative is Trey. Sweet. Uh, can, from where I am, can I see the pterodactyls? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, you can see them. They're in the trees. There. They're above them, and then they swoop down. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, the purple did swoop down. Oh, wait, no, you, you double moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's not um, holding I yet, will... right? Not yet. He, did, he wasn't able to hold an action. Well, oh. Still holding bad news. can take a shot. I can't burn a grit because I'm all out. Uh, you've blown your load. I've blown my load. Uh, I was hoping to get the killing shot and gain a uh, grip back from that, or getting a natural 20. But, I mean, you know, whatever. Fuck my life. Uh, so, let's see if I miss with bad news. Plus 6 is 18. 18. Do I hit a pterodactyl? That's the third hit on a pterodactyl. Their AC is 13. Is that the same for all of them? You blew yeah. a plesiosaur out of the air. <laughs> Oh god, if it's a Gorgon. <laughs> Alright, now. Watch out. Give me a DC 12 deck save. They are very dexterous, but they don't make it. Don't make it? Cool. They are very dexterous. We'll oh. take a total <laughs> of 17 damage. Anyway, uh. Fuck it. Use. Fuck it. Use. 17 damage. 17 one. damage. Uh, all of them are within range of me, so I'll probably shoot at the biggest one. Okay. Blue. It's fine. <laughs> Blue it's the range of the 17 one. damage? Yes, and I will reload. Are you okay? 17. Okay, you reload. Uh, Next the initiative is. You will continue to have a higher DC because he's Damn taking it. damage again. As you're shooting at them, I they're, say they're paying more attention to things that are ripping into them <laughs> than trying to spot the things. <laughs> they are hungry, but they are not discouraged yet. Oh my my arm! Next to the initiative. And I will really... Uh, the blue pterodactyl. Yeah, blue. blue pterodactyl. Blue pterodactyl. He's already been shot. He just, he just got shot damage. by bad news. He is now going to roll at a higher DC because he just took damage. Oh, there's a towards you, Tom. Oh, shit. He, uh... He doesn't see shit. He's paying more attention to the thing that just ripped into his wing. Little holes in his wings so far. You're aiming for the wings. Trying to bring these little bitches down. Yep. All right. Next to the initiative. All uh, right. Not the T-Rex. But Tom. I grab... Uh, I... No, no. Green. Oh. Green gets to go. Green is Green's the T-Rex. Dead. Dead. Green's dead. Oh, what is blue? That's, oh. That was the pterodactyl that just went and did nothing. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we are. Tom. Tom. Oh, right. Thunder step up. Take Johnny Boy with me. That is your action. Uh, upside, you teleport there. Downside, the thunder step destroys the rope. Yep. Yeah. Ah! Boom. You guys are up there, though. Not that bad. is your action. You still have a move and a bonus action. Uh, let's see. Bonus action. Oh, did you curse the T-Rex? That was just my Hexblade one, so I would have healed oh. 10, but he's dead. I would okay, I'm just saying, well, you, you gained 10 temporary hit points. Oh, is it still temporary? Yeah, oh. I believe you get 10. I think yeah. I just, like, healed 10, period. Yeah, I'll say it's temp. It's just technically better. All right. Cool. Heal more you, temp. I think I'm you okay can even pick that. temporary hit points under your healing. I think. I'm not. Yeah, it just says you regain it, 10 HP if it dies. But, yeah, if we can be temp, cool. Yeah, I'm I'll say the overrun is temp just because it adds something to it. Okay. Hexblades are already, Hexblades are already kind of running at a disadvantage. All right. Uh, then, yeah. Are, so are they up a there. newer class? No. Nah. They're, they're a core. What's they're one core. of the newer ones? 
Oh, Blood uh, Hunter. I'm that'd sorry. be Blood Hunter and Artificer. That's I don't allow it. Artificers because they're just too. They're still working out the kinks. I got gotcha. you. No, uh, we're gonna hex the blue one just for future reference. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're within uh, ninety. You can hex them. Uh, legumes still out in disadvantage range. You gotta try again to shoot it blue. Or uh, purple. Or, yeah, blue. Well, you just shoot blue disadvantage. Yeah, blue yeah. Is the bigger one. For anyone that. Uh, 11 is my Color. high roll total, or low roll, so it doesn't hit. Okay. And. Yeah, that's it. Okay. No damage? Yeah. Nope. Oh. I had to get up there. And now he's up there. Oh, so I can't, I'm not up yeah. there. Next the initiative is. Decadic, you have suddenly been teleported up top. Yes, I have. So, on the platforms, how high approximately are the pterodactyls? Uh, they're they're exactly the distance in which they are. So, for, so which one? Uh, so if you're here, it is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 in a straight move up. Right. And are they within 30 feet of each other here? So like, yeah. Uh, so I'll go wingspan here, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yes, they're within wingspan uh, 30 of each other. Then I'm going to cast a second level fear spell on both of them. Okay, that is a what save? A wisdom saving throw. Mm. Wisdom. I wonder if these things are wise. I honestly don't know until I look at the sheet. This technology, you could cure cancer. But I don't want to get cancer. I want to turn people into dinosaurs. dinosaurs. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Uh, Alright, uh, wisdom. Oh. Actually, the wisdom's not terrible. Uh, let's go with a quick dice roll. So that's two wisdom saves? Yep. I see. Okay, the one on the left fails. Purple. Purple. Purple fails. Blue. Blue Who's left? The bigger one. The bigger one fails. Blue. The bigger one fails. This smaller one, uh, which is technically the size of the bigger one, uh, succeeds. Makes a 16? Yeah. I rolled an 18 on the die. Please? Uh, no, it's a disadvantage definitely. Oh, I will give it, uh, as a bonus, I do give it disadvantage on its uh, morale check, though. But being afraid of me specifically, it can't come any closer to you. It can't come right? any closer to you, it would have to uh, swarm at the other side. So it would have a disadvantage on its attack. So then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, just to yeah, keep a buffer there so it doesn't come anywhere. Yeah, because you're here. you're you're on the platform, so you can go thirty wherever you want. Just body block some phantoms. <laughs> uh, pretty much, it can't come closer to you, so it's gonna hang out there, and I'll give it a morale check next time I try. And then uh, Grimblust is gonna Grim move Blast. closer. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, 25 30. thirty. And is he gonna hold his action or? Yeah, he's well. Blue's probably not gonna swoop now that he's scared, is he? Uh, he might. The thing is, is that Grimblast doesn't okay. know. All right, that's how you're doing. Okay, Grimblast, yeah, he's... He doesn't He, he doesn't even know you're up there. He just knows you disappeared, and the rope is snapped before you can get to it. All right, so yeah, he's going to hold his blue. action for a firebolt, and if Blue swoops down low enough, he'll let it off at him. A firebolt! Uh, well, that's a good he, he's out of range for the firebolt, but if he swoops, he's going to firebolt him. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. The, yeah. Isn't that the trigger? If he gets close to him? Yeah, but yeah. he swoops down low enough because yeah. fireball's like... Whoa. Okay. 120 feet. 120. So it's just doesn't so have to come down that much lower. Yeah. I believe one of you has snipers. One of you can shoot far range. I can't remember which one. Do you, you take a sniper or something? Mm, not maybe. Uh, like a spell sniper. Oh, a spell sniper? No. Yeah. No, I didn't. Really? No. Oh, I'm thinking of your other character. Oh, my Kenku? I think so. My Kenku wizard does, yes. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, love uh, that. Love next that initiative feet. is going to be uh, Neil. What are you doing, Neil? Which side That's one of my favorite um, features. It doubles your so range, doesn't it? I've got a light crossbow, and it says for range, it's got 80 and then 320. 320. Uh, that just means you can shoot at disadvantage. So you can take a you can take a uh, two shots at disadvantage. Light crossbow. You basically sacrifice your move to reload it. Okay. So turn oh, off well, you, uh, sorry, light crossbow. You sacrifice half your move. A heavy crossbow, you sacrifice all your moves. So turn off the sword, sheath it, pull up the crossbow, one shot. Uh, no, you get two shots because it's uh, the sheathing is half your movement. 
The turn off is a free action. Okay. The sheathing is half your movement to fully sheathe it without having to drop it. Two shots at disadvantage. And uh, two shots at disadvantage. You shoot, half your movement, then shoot. Okay. Because you've used half your movement twice so far. If that helps. Uh, that's why you take a two weapon fighter or something like that because then you can like draw your thing. Uh, the AC you're trying to hit is a 13 for a range. Uh, two attack. misses. Two misses. Okay. You're, you you shoot bolts. They get close. They get close. They're, it's but it, you know these pterodactyls they're able to swoop out of the way. The yeah. branches get in the way. You're sh- you're shooting at a foliage. And then let's but you're, see you're, here. you're definitely getting close. You think if you keep shooting, you might be able to hit it. Me cops gonna attack purple. Purple. Okay, he's within range. Oh hell yeah, he hits. What's seventeen his, plus six? What's his range? One fifty. Uh, he'd have to get closer to shoot. One okay. Right now. So if he moves his, uh, I believe, uh, thirty foot movement. There. Ow. Uh, yes, he's just within range. Okay, so that's a definite hit. Okay. And the eight plus four, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. On purple. Purple takes damage, and Purple is going to have a higher DC on his search check. He okay. points yeah. distracted by arrows being shot at him yeah, that's right. by multiple opponents. Hail of air. I just hate that moment of like, no, that there's no way that that's right. <laughs> Excellent initiative. No, is. Healer's going to use a signature attack and give me a D4 on my next attack roll. Okay. Next time you make an attack, you can roll 1D4. Okay, I'm done. It's uh, attack rolls or saving throws, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next to the initiative is... Corey. 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 What are you doing, Cody? <laughs> Come on, Gruyere. Cody will do what he does. Um, Come on, Bear. Gruyere. <laughs> Venezuelan beaver cheese. <laughs> Hollander smoked... Oh, what was it? Hollander smoked... You got a charger back there? Yeah. Get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Thank you. I'm going to run towards the other air, uh, other, other uh, ladder rope thing. Uh, what's the range of my Bardic Inspiration? Or does uh, it have Bardic Inspiration, I believe, has a 90 foot range. Okay, so that would probably not be able to reach anyone up on the platform. No, it's 100 feet up from the platform. Okay. You're 10 feet out of range. Shit. Um, yes. Can I inspire. Inspire another ally if you want. Um, I'll yeah. go ahead and inspire you. Because you're close. Yeah. You're inspiring? No, I no. inspired the captain before. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. Okay, okay. Neil. You can have a defense, a, D tw- a D8 to very much any. No, it's, he said D20. Woo! D10. <laughs> D10. D20? Have. No! Aww. No, it's a D8. Yeah. It's a D8 to any roll. To, let's see. Have ability check, two. attack roll, yeah. or saving throw. And it lasts okay. for 10 minutes. You get to use it once. Nice. So I roll a D8 and a D4 and D20. Yes. Woo! Uh, so good luck, Miss. I like. Um, I mean, I believe in you. The more yes, I use, the more I, I use that. I'll be more like impressed than anything. It's kind of a. I like that temporary bonus. <laughs> that it's a good temporary bonus. You only get so much a day, so you might as well use them. Eventually, they refresh on a short rest. Ooh, they do. I believe it's tenth level as well. Okay. Next in the initiative is uh, Red Pterodactyl. What no one's Ooh. done anything with so far. Red pterodactyl, he is going to attack. Fuck me, I'm gonna need to roll be a higher than a five. He doesn't see anything. No, you don't. He makes an attack with triple disadvantage. He misses. You don't need to roll better. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting more of these monkey men to die. All right, next in the initiative, purple pterodactyl. Purple Pterodactyl, uh, he has been hit, so disadvantage on the perception. He doesn't see shit. Triple disadvantage. Uh, he misses fucking again. They're swooping in. He does swoop in, though. Groom Blast, at this point, can make his attack. Oh, he, he was holding it, remember? Yeah, that's, okay. Yeah. So he's within 100 as he shoots. All right, then, yeah. Groom Blast will pop off a fireball. No, he does not. <laughs> Miss? Yeah. How bad? Three. Okay. It hits the tree. It doesn't entirely catch on fire, but it does spark a little bit. Oh my God. 
You had fire in a forest. We had to burn down the tree to it's save the village. Well, this well, this awkward bear that, 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 that shows up like, what the fuck? Knocks over all the other trees. You have one job! I got one dragon in this forest. Only you, Grimblists, can prevent forest fires by not fucking up. Excellent initiative is uh, the uh, tray. All right. Well, tray. blue's still in the air, huh? All, all three are still Blue's, in the air. Uh, all three are still flying around. Red as well. Red After still reloading, flying. I will. Shooting who? What you shooting? Blue. I'm shooting blue. The same one I shot last time. Yeah, I know, but with which gun? Bad news. Bad news it is. Don't forget to die. From what? Oh, you didn't get inspired, did you? No. That's, oh, that's, no, no, that you no. And then I'll ask. He's just reminding you of the extra die. You don't get a roll. Yeah, thanks. Till later. It'll happen. One of these days. But someone had to move too far away. So, 21. Yeah. To uh, it one of the barely hits. hits. You're welcome. Well, good point. Fair point. That's good. Yeah. I'll give it to you. Does... 12 points of damage, DC 12 saving throw. Yes. Is that clear? This is not blue, right? Wow. Uh, what, what, what's the saving throw? 12. 12? Might make it. They have a good deck save. They have plus 6 to their decks. Yeah, he just makes it. He makes it. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, just that much. Pterodactyls. Yeah. Very, 12, very right? dexterous. Yep. Yeah. Just 12. And I will reload. Okay. Uh, Run them on ammo. Blue. Disadvantage to his, because uh, he's been damaged, and he's he is here. Are you going to move it off? That was Blue's third hit. What's his HP? Uh, or no, it's, no, it's, it's, it's when he's bloody. He isn't Never mind. Yet. Uh, it is a wisdom saving throw. No, it is a charisma saving throw to not be shaken in battle. Fuck, he flies. Flies away. He escapes. Please remove him from the battlefield. He's going to retreat. Uh, back with the rest. There's like 15 others that are like way out of range. They're just flying above. They just he, yeah. He just retreats back with the other 15. I'm just not. I'm just not gonna put 15 on the table. Cool. Because that would be fucking nuts. It would. So it would shooting a blue is equivalent of that. Uh, that 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 scatter of them. You scare them away with a gun blast. You hit one. You blow out part of its wing, and it just starts climbing with the rest of them. The smaller pterodactyls flying around it take off with it, as you've hit the matriarch. There are two other matriarchs left. Next in the initiative is <laughs> Tom. Oh, right. To your turn, there's a sniper about to kill you. How was that? Yes. <laughs> My pain ends. Harder, Daddy. Oh, right. Whoa! <laughs> We're going to no, no, run I'm over here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Hey, we're gonna take a shot over at Red. Sure, you don't want to kill like one of the innocent mon monkey people. I mean, he's right. Not there. right now. Okay. Tempting. But we'll get to that later. We'll Smoot won't be happy if I knock you off. Okay. <laughs> All right, and uh, nineteen total to hit. Hey, we can nineteen total to hit on the first one okay. and the second. Start. I roll. All right. This is Sparta. It's a D10 each. Do you have the the thing where this you guys charisma the damage or not? Nope. Okay. Tail Fine. Great D10. All right. Still work. Wow. Cool. Twenty damage. Twenty damage to who? Red. 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 Red takes twenty damage. Okay. And uh, the what about your uh, your other guy? Oh, lagoon. Uh. <laughs> He's Good gonna push. try to scoop further over. Edwin, you're at 29 hit points? God damn. No. No, that's a 56. You should be healed. Oh, just tell me you're at 29. All right, all right. And disadvantage shot at purple? I was at one point. Yeah, I healed you, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You healed me in my healing. Jesus. Healed me okay. Oh, oh, yeah, 24. Huh? So a disadvantage, he's hitting purple. Disadvantage. The 24. 24. Fuck. Yeah, 18 into 20. I don't fucking he nails. Disadvantages do not bother him at all, apparently. That, he rolled like a god with his 1d8 plus 3. 1d8 plus 4, thank you. Oh, there you go. Moving up in the world. 12. 12. Nice. Okay, that's 12 impressive. 12 on purple? Yes. 
Purple's Six. going to have a higher DC for perception because he's getting assed up. Okay. Uh, next on the initiative is Johnny. What are you doing, sir? I'm going to move closer to Purple over here. Lob a third level fireball at him. At Purple? Kick a yep. monkey off. So he's got Killing him. a monkey just for the lulls. Gotta yeah. make himself a deck save. Gotta finish somehow. <laughs> What's the DC? Uh, 16. He makes it. Alright, I'll we'll take half of this then. Just remember when you use those, uh, they're gone when you use those little uh, orbs. Yeah, that's what I called, that's why I shot at the team. Okay. I'm okay. using my spell slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those orbs don't come back, do they? No, they're gone. No. 12. There's only like a couple hundred gold. Oh, okay. 14. It's like a wizard use thing, so it's less expensive. 3, 5, 30 and a half, 15 damage on purple. 15 on purple. Woo! Got a much higher DC now. It's just fire explosions near him, arrows being shot at him. Forces of, of, of energy being shot at him. It's, it's fucking getting pelted. And uh, Grimblist will move a little bit closer and same thing, hold his firebolt action. Hold his action. If he tries to get near, he's just going to yeah. blast him. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, next in the initiative is Neil. Neil. He falls on. Is red in range? Of what? That crossbow. Uh, what is the range of a crossbow? Oh yeah, he's in range. A pistol at disadvantage. 30. At disadvantage, yeah, he's well within yeah. three hundred. Oh, I see. I get ninety at disadvantage. So six plus. Oh. <laughs> plus. Nope, still missed. Was it? Was it with a D twenty, a D eight, and a D four? Oh, oh, thirteen wow. is all you need. I rolled total a ten. I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just proud. You say that Six, after he carved two, up a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. Alright then. After so, being blinded and shot in the face twice. It's kind of an easy target. Still. <laughs> oh yeah. Red. Next season. Oh, of, next season of Power Rangers coming up. Bring him back, Austin St. John. Oh, he missed. And, uh, so, definitely try to pelt these guys, but they're like Zordon dodging the trees. Yeah. This is actually a really Zordon difficult shot. Zordon died a lot. High up in the trees, the sun's in your eyes, there's tons of branches that die in between oh, yeah. them. Take notes uh, from like, Lagoon, you're, you're man. Yeah. You've actually got a couple of <laughs> Yeah. Mighty Morphin through Power Rangers in Space was kind of like the same story arc thread, yeah. like, falling directly when I Corey. Every season after that, is you doing? Technically the same continuity, but more self-contained, like the Japanese shows. Where they I'm gonna do. do I'm gonna bardic over. inspire you now. Cool. Before I do anything else. Okay, you burn another bardic inspiration. Yep. Laying your bagpipes. <laughs> You're almost at the vocals. Oh God. That's Only nice. thirty more rounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. All on bagpipes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, yes. That'd be awesome. Anyway, uh, move me to the base of that ladder. Someone. Uh, all right. Use the, uh, yeah. Team. That should be, what, 20? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll, can I climb the first you, five? You, feet? you can climb the first uh, uh, half your move, which would be. Oh. So 25. Uh, can... uh, divided by 22, round it up to players. I'll say 15. Okay. Then that's you can climb the first. First fifteen. Yeah, then that's what I'll do. Yeah. Unless you have a climbing speed of more. You know, some people do. Alright, next in the initiative is Good Red 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 is We're going to save this almost whole track. Yeah, we've only lost I, one. We've lost, yeah, one. I am actually very sad. Like, he's not doing very well. Well, they aren't just please use source. Yeah, but I'm like, dude, <laughs> they're like, a little out of their I have not rolled above an <laughs> eight for the perceptions for it. So I'm going to roll a triple disadvantage. 
swoops down for an attack. He misses. These fucking uh, phantoms know all the five D's of dodging. <laughs> There's even a sixth one. Yeah, I know. Right? So is it my turn That's again? what the shaman does. I uh, stand in place. Uh, I am. I am. I, I disappear oh, from reality. Yeah, let me do this. I'm sorry. All right, purple one. Try now. The purple oh, miss yeah. too. Purple one there. Uh, purple one is going. Has been asked up. He's going to roll his. He runs away. So purple bales. Purple bales. Red's about to get a bunch of bad news. <laughs> I gave him advantage oh, on a fear check, and he didn't even make a ten. Rolled a four and a six. Wow. Yeah. So what your yeah. inspiration is? It a D six? I have not rolled. Like I should show you. You are goals. using wheels now. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I am. Oh, I am. This is not it's my master plan. Finally, it's, it's great for you guys. It's terrible for fucking. And <laughs> God damn it! Ability These checks. monkey people. Watch that one gaming. fly away, and I go. All right, it is. Nice. Uh, that'll be 20, not natural. Okay, you nail him. Bang! Uh, that'll be 15 damage plus uh, DC 12 deck save. Okay, you so not roll a 6. I rolled a 15 natural plus 6. Okay, cool. Sorry. So you still took uh, 15 damage. Yeah, nail him. Damn. Bang! You, you blew a hole and right reload. through his wing. Reloading. Yeah, okay. you, you, they're not having a good day, man. Yeah. A good day. It's Tom. It's Tom. All right, I'm going to use my inspiration on my first attack and Eldritch Blast against this guy once again. Okay, get at it. Get both. Turn All right, the, the first one came six. to a total of 19. The second one came to a total of 13. Nah, both so, hit. sweet. Both hits. 3 10. Or as they say in Mexico, dos tequitos. E- the tray, so six plus five. Plus Eleven six. more damage. Is that forty-six? Oh, it's DAs. Dos. Does D say DAs? D say DAs. Yes. I'm trying. Anyway, how much? Uh, uh, Eleven. Damn, not bad. All right, good. Four. Two Seven explosions four. of black elder <laughs> starlight uh, force shoot from your hands and explode in the chest of this creature. You're having a bad day, Paco. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ne- next on the initiative yeah. is Johnny. Johnny. Johnny two by four. Are you maintaining your concentration on the fear? It's not oh. here. I got. I got another idea actually. Okay. Because he said there's like another like fifteen or so pterodactyls just flying around this. Just flying around. Area. Yeah. I would like to. Attempt to cast Skyrite and specifically form clouds in the shape of that red worm we encountered earlier to try to spook them away. What is the casting time of Skyrite, by the way? And do you have it prepared? Uh, I do have it prepared. Okay. Uh, casting time just as one action. Okay. Since you, you do it, you don't do a ritual. You can attempt to try to make the cloud shape of a red worm above them. Uh, roll me a, uh, what would be a performance check? Performance check. You can roll an arcana check before if you try to see if you have advantage or disadvantage. Do you want to risk that? Yeah, I think I'll just use my portent of 19 in substituting a roll. 19. All right, I will immediately roll a fate, uh, a fear check against the last of the pterodactyls, or uh, plesiosaurs, as they like to call them, <laughs> because of science. Roll a 17 and 16 on the die. Sorry. Yeah, it, it does like it seem like it feels them with fear a little bit, but then they realize what it is. Damn it. Sorry. One accidentally flies through it, just kind of. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I love that. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Fuck off, pterodactyls. Yeah. With a pH. What you should have done is set up an ack-ack emplacement, and we could have just blown them out of the sky. Well, it wasn't Sheriff Turner just be like, hey, all the other pterodactyls swoop in. The ones that haven't been shot. Wait, wait, I need some of these guys to go away. The rest attack. (laughs) They each (laughs) take out one. Cost out 17 figures. Come on, let's go. (laughs) 
I only have so many pterodactyl figures. I know it's it's pathetic. I only have like two full size and a baby. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, well, kill yourself. What about pleasing <laughs> stores? <laughs> one day, if my job keeps giving me the work it does, yes. Uh, oh my God. Grim West will run over this way. I don't need it, Tony. You're a good VM. Of course. Yeah, he'll double move. Sort of. <laughs> you have your moments. I'm passive. I'm Five. passively okay. Five out of ten. <laughs> All right, Neil. I give a solid seven. <laughs> we got <my> EA. <laughs> Two shots. That's generous. That's a generous seven. <gasps> Well, that was actually going to be a hit. Wait, actually, it is a hit. Roll okay. 17 and 20, so okay. disadvantage. That's a hit? Yeah. The AC is 13 still. And what are those are missing. So one hit. One hit. D8 one plus D8 one. D8 plus your dex. Six points of damage on a red. Got it. Woohoo! So that Neil Bly is now the bloody. Damage. They have 100 hit points. 52. Ooh. Damn it, Corey. Corey, you're up next, and then it's the <coughs> back of it. Maybe I can finish this bitch off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do 50 feet of... Du- I'm going to double climb if I can. Double climb? Yeah, uh, that would be uh, 15 to 15. That would be... So you climb 15, then you climb 15 twice. That's 90. You make it to the top. That's no! Two. Put me on top of the platform! So you just reach the top. The double <gasps> Only to be swooped up by Red! Ah! <laughs> Can't you can't get the monkeys? I'll get that thing! Shoot out of the sky! Fall 100 feet! Ah! If I need to, we get it hurt six herpes. every 10 feet. Uh, That'd be fine. And then, for my bonus action, I'll your vagina my bonus all action, the insides of its stomach. I will bardically oh. inspire Johnny's character. That'll be uh, good. That would have been so Johnny, helpful. That's the minute you got the four bardic like inspirations. So that's, that's all of them. All of them? <laughs> all of them? All right. You've blown all of them. Yes, I get enough to... Not yet. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can say nothing with you guys. Nope, nope, nope. Trick you. All right, uh, next in the initiative is... The Red Pterodactyl. <coughs> red Pterodactyl. <coughs> red Pterodactyl. <coughs> red Pterodactyl. <coughs> What the fuck was that? I don't know. That was my voice. That was awesome. I thought, like, did you just make Johnny a soundboard thing? Red pterodactyl. <laughs> did I have that open the whole time? I wonder if like, the background, like, the sound of our music, like, has been going on. <laughs> so the background noise has been us. Also? I don't know if I've had an echo this whole time or not. That would right be now, That would be stories. terrible. Oh, oh man. It would be a rough start to the episode. I just heard it, though. For all of it, it's almost midnight. <laughs> oh my god. Unlistenable music. Anyway, uh, next in the initiative is. Is a red uh, what the red pterodactyl? Red pterodactyl! Red pterodactyl! Ah! Red pterodactyl. Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the name of the next episode. Red pterodactyl! Red pterodactyl scream, red pterodactyl scream, red pterodactyl scream. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm okay. part of it! <laughs> Next in the initiative is the Red Pterodactyl. See, shows how much I've been paying attention. <laughs> yeah, <no. coughs> Tony's not happy. Roll a fucking seven. Roll above a ten, you roll above an eight. I'll be impressed if you roll above an eight, you fucking pterodactyl. <laughs> Somebody slap this motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. Trey's got that under control. Just slap him. Oh, 16, 18, 16. He grabs a phantom. Grab one near him. No. Even with triple disadvantage, he was able to get one. He's so hungry. Ain't gonna last, because here comes bad. Disarm him. If you're able to kill him. Out of grit. If, oh. you, if you're able to kill him, I'll let him drop it. And then kill, ah. him. kill the thing. They can fly. They can fly. Oh. Phantoms can fly. Okay, cool. Uh, They're flying monkeys. More than 13. It. Only barely done half itself. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it's a natural one. Oh. It's a hard. That weapon one. is going to need to be repaired. I will drop him. It's and a 17, not a 1. Woohoo! Those are my importance for the day. <laughs> so it goes. What the hell of a hang I fire. That. Uh, what's the damage on that? Uh, add a d4 to the damage just because that's fucking. Yes! Yes! <laughs> cool points! 
He didn't even tell range to clear it because he had a hang fire. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> 21 damage. 21 Wait, damage. Wait, give me a DC uh, uh, 12. Doesn't fucking make it. <laughs> the little bird, the spider oh! guy, is hurt. How much did I throw out there? 73 plus 8. Uh, it was... Oh, I already added the other 16, six. I just, I just need to add so you need to make 20, 21, plus 8 is 29 total damage. So, plus another 8. Yeah. If only so you were able to make... If only were you were you able to make another eight, shot. 81, 81. Oh. 81. Damn. I, I... No, not 81, 91, I think. What? No, wait, no, 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 you're right, you're right. right. 91. Um... <sighs> drop the rifle and... Go for the because um, I haven't moved. Yeah. I uh, go for the lever action. Okay. Uh, that's half your movement to draw another weapon. Yep. Free action, drop one. Yep. So you, if you didn't want to move, you could use half your action to uh, sheath one, and then half your action to pull uh, out. One. I'll just drop it. Okay. Uh, where are you, rifle? That ass. I mean, if you could somehow do twenty-two points of damage. I mean, um, nineteen. 19 points of damage. Thank you. It's possible. I think you the got rifle it, bro. is 2d10. Those are you. Uh, it's difficult. Bang! Ooh! That plus 6 is 18. That hits. That hits. Uh, that's going to be 2d10. 19, come if on. you get within uh, 10 of its hit points, I will say I will give it a chance to drop it. Big money, no money, big money, no money, big money, no money. At least 9. Oh. I got a seven. I got fourteen. No, wait, seven. Nine, ten, eleven. Get him. Plus t- one is twelve damage. Twelve damage. Okay, I will give him an athletics check to see if he drops his fucking thing. Someone, just one more hit on this guy. Okay. Uh, AC was fifteen. Let me look at the pterodactyl. It's up to you, man. Uh, what skills does he have? He doesn't have any skills. He has passive strength of plus two. Fuck. He drops. Yeah! The Phantom. Nice. Yeah. Miss it by two. He drops the Phantom as you blow off one of his legs. He starts climbing, panicking, trying to fly away. And all right, Lagoon's gonna go first and try to take him down. He's been a crack shot. Uh, disadvantage. Who's who's first? Uh, yeah. Okay. Roll with disadvantage. Yeah. Ah, uh, he finally missed. So five and a six. Oh, he, he got missed. eleven. So Lagoon got the <laughs> shot. He missed. Uh, and then I will go. Mm-hmm. I gave you. A, oh, it was only one. I was. Oh. You didn't know that, but I was giving you one. He was climbing the fly. Uh, uh, as he climbs yeah. to fly away, one of his legs is blown off. He's bleeding horribly from the missing limb. The rest of his flock flies off with him. As they fly off, there's maybe, you'd say about, tw- uh, you guys have killed a couple. I'll say you guys, uh, there's maybe, out of the 30, there's maybe uh, 22 left. And they just kind of gather maybe 500 feet in the air. And eventually they kind of just all fly off. They have a little chat, 500 feet in the air. This fucking sucks! Yeah, no, we should leave! Alright, okay, everyone in favor, say cock! Alright, everybody get the fuck out! <laughs> Alright. What do you think, Red Pterodactyl? <laughs> Red Pterodactyl? <laughs> Red Pterodactyl? <laughs> I believe that one's name now is Stumpy. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna come back with a peg leg and one level higher! You bitch! Hey, eye patch, just cuz. Just cuz, it's style. It's hot eye snap at thee! It's a pair of his shoulders! One leg, it's Eileen. <laughs> uh, you're okay. right. So, no, it's I'm gonna turn off the battle camera. Uh, See, the peg leg Pete or Eileen depends on the battle sex. Battle camera, cool. Battle yes, camera turned off. Okay, uh, your characters, as you're standing, some of you begin to climb. Uh, one of the I single ropes the top left. Down. You make it to the top. As you do, you're granted by tons of phantoms. They begin cheering at you. Uh, a lot of them, some of them yeah, try yeah. to pick you up, and they give yeah, up yeah, halfway. Yeah, yeah. Except uh, me, right? I'm, I'm light enough? Yeah, they kind of get you up, and then they drop you a little oh, bit, because you're, it's you're heavy. Bastards. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're cheering like, And then all of a sudden, like, they start... Lighting like little torches, and all of a sudden, like a little firework shoots up in the sky and explodes. And then another one, and then another one, and then another little fireworks just start shooting up in the sky. Eventually, a very old 
gray, slightly bolding phanton begins to wobble up to you out of one of the huts. A couple of other much longer, stronger phantoms, almost about the size of a halfling. Ooh. Like little short, uh, they're basically long is, is daggers, but they look like long swords in their hands. Yes, exactly that. No, music know. begins to play in the distance. Uh, uh, odd music though, like dr- uh, like uh, like drums. Don't 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 do 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 do. I don't know, whatever that sounds. You know what? That's canon. I like that. Let's just go with that. It's a Fraggle Rock song. They start going up to you. They start cheering. They're very happy. Uh, an old one begins going up towards you, and he goes towards your group, and he says. In the Phantom language, can you understand me? Yes, I can, oh great one. Uh, I am Elder Smith. <laughs> I am Elder What are the odds? <laughs> Your ancestors. Welcome. They still live in trees. Of the Isle of Dread Snoots. Our village. You have done us a great service today. I'm translating as this is speaking. Oh, good. And it is not without reward. Dancing around with the other. Well, I would hope not. Seducing all the ones I can. You may ask. You may have shelter here. As long as you are peaceful. Are you peaceful? I'm dancing with the celebratory Yubnub people. You may ask Mikav. Mikav goes, I vouch for them, they didn't eat me. Woo. I tested them many times, <laughs> rubbing sap along my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it. <laughs> uh, so there it is. So, so your characters are hearing like this chippering back and forth like between his character and the other character mm-hmm. and the other NPCs. And uh, the elder one says, Oh, good. And you are welcome. That tent in the corner is yours. You may eat, and have your fill. You may drink and have your fill. We have the fermentation of grape and honey here. We'll celebrate. Normally these attacks carry off at least four or five. Only one died today. And for that, tomorrow when you awaken, you may ask me, one boom. I will give it. What kind of boom do you want? So <laughs> then, celebrate. We have plenty of. Plus one bonus to my constitution. There's score. one dead one, so we'll definitely eat that. So, chickens on the menu, boys. <laughs> There's also a dead the giant lizard. lizard. We got. Uh, we got uh, that's oh. the only dead one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the only dead one. Yeah, the rest are all left. Brown chickens on the menu, boys. <laughs> but there's a lot of it. That there's some fucking. Yeah, we're gonna get there. some rations. So tonight, going. you guys are going to eat pterodactyl. Or, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex meat. Woo. You'll eat like kings. You'll drink oh, like kings. <laughs> steaks this big, man. Steaks <laughs> that big. They will cook them. Like the flint They're gonna put that sob. The they're gonna gut him and they're gonna put him on a spit and they're gonna stick the biggest apple you've God, ever seen. Only we had cell phones. <laughs> that apple is huge. <laughs> My God! Where the hell? Where'd you get this Imagine food? the That's apple we, pie. Oh, well, when you sell them, that's where all the dire animals are. Oh, of course. <laughs> Our group has an Instagram. It's just Scarlet next to all this oversized dire, dire vegetables. Dire vegetables are the biggest apple tree you've ever seen. Oh my God! Dire apples. Anyway, uh, thanks everybody for listening. Hopefully, oh we didn't God. have an echo with the entire night. I just noticed that I had two web pages open. Wah, we'll see how long wah, that happened. Wah, wah, uh, and I'll I see you guys next time on both the Dungeons and Dragons. Keep it real, peace! Yep. Alright, stop streaming. Don't forget to stop stay and your recording.